All right. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone, I disappointed you. I'm sorry, everyone, I disappointed you. I'm just such a disappointment. Uh, everything's going to shit. Everything's going to shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Close this. And then YouTube. Oh my god, everything's moving slow. Fucking just do any first guessy. Boom. Boom. Set this to live chat. Actually, hold on, I could just make my OBS on my other screen, actually. That that would make more sense. Impoverished. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch live. Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch live. Okay, so now I should be able to see chat just fine. Test. There are in the chat. Are, there are ice dwellers. Are there? In the chat. Alright. Alright, I gotta change my fucking shit. You do too. I'm Zoe. I forgot that. Uh -oh, uh -oh. They should really make the edit tweet, but inaccessible to everyone except instead of just people with fucking Twitter blue. There we go. All right, everything's fixed now. I don't have my laptop right now because my fucking Let's grandpa's go. using it to watch Attack on Titan. <sighs> Alright, I'm sorry everyone. Good. Stream should be better now. L Shut up. I'm being DDoS right now. I have a suspicion. Are there any games like updating on Steam or something? Downloads paused, and they're paused, so they're- Yeah, usually when you play a game, you just don't necessarily know what like, project is paused. Mm. Yeah, if it's just lagging, then just like, fucking, I don't know. It should sort itself out, it usually does. Like, my, like, from what I can see, like, I'm getting like 16,000 kbps, which should be more than fine. Like 23 cat. Huh? Running through all of five. Why the fuck can I not see my own Twitch chat? You know, I'm bringing it up on my phone. Uh, perchance, maybe. Yes. Yeah, I will be. I need footage. <laughs> I need footage. No. Probably just do the comma sheet around. No. No. Right, yeah, Twitch chat does not want to appear on my second monitor, so will be. Erm. Um, will be, erm, um, fucking. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm gonna play through like a majority of the game. I'll probably get to. Joker, stop! It's an accident. Uh. Funny thing. Huh? Joker. I'll probably get to like Okuma and probably stop. No, I'll probably get to Sai. Sai. Get to Sai. I'll end this right now. <laughs> As if they replaced the battle theme and thought like this was a good song. I 
If only there was a mod that disabled social link bonuses. <laughs> Yeah, get rid of the Ryuji shit, and like, also just get rid of every social link bonus. My weak self relied on you so much. Oh she's the cat man! Oh shit, it's OC! Let's do this, senpai. Yeah, let's do this. Messages, not just top messages. That's the last of them. Watch none of my viewers watch this because it's Persona 5. Like actually. I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. You I think I accidentally turned you down instead of fucking the game. Then I won't stop you. Yeah, I turned uh wait, speak. Yeah, okay, that is you. Alright, turning down game tiny bit. Since I'm not a member. Since I'm not a member of the Phantom Thief, it's okay, I can get away. You fucking should have been a member of the Phantom Thief, you fucking bitch. I got fucking baited with uh, Kasumi thinking she's gonna be a really cool party member I could have for the whole game. And she's in like, one dungeon. The fact of that they, f they sold DLC for money that you had to pay for, for outfits for her, and you can only use her in one dungeon absolute daylight robbery didn't they include all the dlc in, in the, the pc yeah. yeah that doesn't that's really funny <laughs> but like okay but kawakami kifumi and yoshida's aren't that bad i don't think yoshida is extortion kawakami should be like Kaw Kawakami's is one that you should like always get. That's like my number one priority is getting that Kawakuchi. And then fucking Hifumi. Hifumi's are kind of useless. But she's kind of hot though, so it's fine. That's not my Joker. Hashtag not my Joker. Hashtag not my Joker. Yeah, this is my Joker. The Joker that takes estrogen. Drug was too strong. I guess the estrogen was too strong. Wake him up. Dickhead, you know how long it's gonna take this to dry? Right, I'm skipping this. Don't need footage of this. <laughs> the fucking did you see the the fucking uh what are they? Why am I being stupid? The cuffs. The cuffs yeah, are the just cuffs like floating. Are floating. Yeah. My name is my name is Jesse first and the clipboard the pen is just kind of floating there she's got telekinesis having a vagina <laughs> <laughs> Having a vagina gives you mystical powers in this world. Yeah, I don't need footage of this. Yeah, and she's like clipping through the thing because her model is a little bit smaller than Joker's. Would you like to save your progress? New Why did they make her shorter? Because <laughs> women are shorter than men? Not my Joker. Women could... Women could be as tall as men. Yeah, but it's, it's about being shorter than most of the guy characters, so then it's like Kawaii Desu. You know? Uh, like, look at her. Look at how cute she is. She has like a girl walking mother. animation, too. This is actually such a, a competent mod. Like, actually. It's funny because I bet I could cosplay FMC Joker like pretty, pretty well. 
I am. Hmm? I am so. Why is her phone. Well, I guess the phone wouldn't be that hard of a fix. What? For the. Uh, for like the overworld. You know what's funny? They're not gonna add FMC route in the next Persona game. It it's might just be a FMC. Route. Like we might just get a female, like an only a female protagonist, not a male protagonist. They'll they'll never do it. We'll they might get a girl Persona character. They just might. The, the most you're gonna get is Maya in a remake. <laughs> nah. Oh. And she's not even gonna speak. On? They're gonna completely Jeez. just get rid of her characterization. Yeah. <sighs> Monter. I'm gonna do like a personality change thing where like instead of being a fucking bad bitch with attitude I'm gonna be like a Kawaii Desu Day anime girl I'm gonna be like Hello everybody! Welcome to my live stream! Um... I don't know, I'm really depressed <laughs> I want a fan base of people that simp for me Here, you're gonna have, have that image. Imagine if I fucking 180 my personality. Just imagine. Let's see, what did you send me? Have you been told? Well, not that that matters. Oh my god, that's that's me. Hold on, sleep, sleep. That's me. That's you. That's me. This that's you. Look, hold on. Well, at least give you sheets for your bed. Wait. Looks like this is me. It's big. It's on you to clean up the See, look. I'll be leaving after I lock up each It's me. You'll be alone tonight, but don't do anything stupid. But wait for it. Holy shit! It's it's Chie Sangananka. How the fuck did you? How'd you fuck her name up that bad? You protected some woman from a man I've, that's been like an ongoing thing with me. That's an ongoing I meme. Alright. Here's here's the actual proof that it's me. And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. I was expelled. You to transfer expelled. Here, expelled. Also approved. Oh no, I was expelled. Words, oh no. Pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about what do what'd you think? Is that me or is that me? That is you. I told I, what the fuck did I tell you? Nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. A whole year. Expelled. We'll be going to shoot. Shujin, okay. Shujin Academy. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place. So, Jira, I like you a lot, but your goatee. Your goatee is kind of ugly. This dude, he's like cool. I like him. He's Even cool. He's just like. But his goatee is really fucking ugly. Unwieldy. Riz Dojima. What? He's like Dojima if he like fucked women. But Dojima yeah, did bitches. fuck women, that's how Nanako exists. Mm, he no. fucked women and then that woman got fucking absolutely fucking clobbered by a white SUV. <laughs> she got fucking demolished by a white SUV. <laughs> Moments of calm. Nothing left to me now. Weren't you just bitching about this song? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't. Fuck, it's catchy as fuck. That's why it's annoying. It's like a brain worm. Look at how fucking. Uh, I'm not playing on Switch, so I can't, like, do the zoom thing, but, like, MC Joker is so fucking hot. What's your headcanon? Is, is FemC Joker just Joker with estrogen, or is FemC Joker, like, actual woman? Well, I mean actual MC woman. Joker I mean, I mean, is like, I mean cis woman, not like as if trans woman cannot be real woman. MC Joker is a skinwalker, who on the way, on the bus stop, uh, bus here, completely just like stole. Joker's that wasn't that skin. wasn't an option. <laughs> Fucking absolute woman failure, by the way. Just look at her. Absolute. I wonder what her cup failure. size is. I bet I have bigger than. Mm. Looks about a C. Yeah, I think I'm bigger. 
That's right, Joker, your estrogen can't fucking... I'm more of a... I'm, I have big... Wait, hold on a second. This is an Inaba. Look, this is Dojima's fucking... It's Dojima's scooter. Look. It's the exact same one. <laughs> Look, I'm not shitting you. It is. This is Dojima. This is Narukami's scooter. Where's Narukami? Hold on. I'm looking. Narukami! Isn't it implied that Juness like, really popped off after P4? Like, it became, like, a... Like, a huge thing. I don't know. Like, is, is Yosuke on the, the grind set? I don't know. I like to look around this area every time I get the chance to. Because, uh, genuinely, my headcanon is this Inaba. This is Inaba. Because, like, look at I'd it. Like to, I'd like to think that, that Yosuke became, like, a billionaire after P4 and got his shit together. I like to think that he's still ashamed about his homosexuality and has, like, a, <laughs> a big collection of, like, yaoi manga. Um, and then Teddy still lives with Yosuke, even in, like, their 50s. And Teddy's like, Teddy's like, Yosuke, I bought you another one of those yaoi manga. And then fucking Yosuke is like, fuck off, Tedward. I like the, I, I can't ignore this. As a matter of fact, I very much can. Like, she is, she is more than capable of, of like, fighting back. But sure. The police are my bitches. It's like my favorite line in this game. I'll, I'll call the police. Call them if you want. The police are my bitches. <laughs> then I can take you. No. This game has so, so many quotable lines. Someone called the cops. Get in the car. Incompetent fool. Morty, get in the car. I'm, I, he's not going with you. Get out of my face. Morty, get in the car. So damn slow. I'm happy to still have Tatsuya's VA like doing stuff. Who's Tatsuya? He voices. <laughs> oh, no, I know who Tatsuya is. He's from a Shin Megami Tensei game. <laughs> You're damn right he is. He, he does alright, Ashido, in this. <laughs> I love how Joker's model is that little bit smaller. So all these cutscenes, all these beginning cutscenes, like, are a little bit fucking. <laughs> My eyelids are starting to get heavy. <laughs> like I said, all these scenes are a little bit fucky, but it's fine. It's a little really good, not my joker. <laughs> the ball. They got me a ball and chain. <laughs> no, the shackle and chain. Baka reference. You seen Baku sleep? Looks like you're up. No, I haven't. Baku is the it's where boneless pizza right, came from. Let's go introduce us to school your oh. take a I'll drive. <sighs> no. Kids aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Except when it's me and Pipaba, right, Sojuro? Anyone who, like, goes for, for Futaba in this game, free. like, has issues. <laughs> I don't think they have issues, it's just, like, like, morally ambiguous in uh, whether or not it's a good idea. Did you, saw, did you see the tweet about, like, how fucking, um, whatever his name is from the Student Council Social Link in P3, Mitsuru would absolutely fucking murder this man? Yeah, but... I'm trying to. I don't know. Maybe. And then this dude has mob ties. If you really break it down. <laughs> it's fucking. What I what I like is I like the idea of like Mitsuru standing up to Kamashita. Kamashita tries to fucking break her leg, and but because she wears heels all the time, her legs are so fucking like a buff that he can't. <laughs> and she just fucking just stomps his ass. Think about it this way. Sees. C's really, though, are like the only like persona team that are like physically like very like buff because like 
Uh, well, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue for old Sona characters anymore. I can't with you. <laughs> what do you mean you can't with me? Tatsuya literally has like a kill count. He of, like, doesn't exist. He doesn't yeah, he exist. He does. He shows he shows up on the TV in P3. He shows up in the TV in Persona 4. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Yeah. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. Uh, that's really so true. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I like the idea of Pepsi being a fucking disgusting fucking person and just like, <laughs> just like hand over mouth. Burn. Yeah, that's really funny. 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 Yeah, I'm trying to like, I'm trying my best to have fun with it because I just really don't like this game. They really dropped the ball on some of the lighting and reload. Like this game has a lot more of a consistent visual style. <laughs> well, reload has like some pretty like rough looking spots. This uh, this this camera perspective reminds me of Yandere Simulator. <laughs> like this off. this camera like not not because not because of fucking Kamoshida. I'm just talking about like the environment reminds me of like no I know where you're talking the about it's just atrocious it is though it's true it's because fucking you seen the fucking Persona 3 fanfic it'll be tough you brought it on your I brought it on myself Sojuro why'd you take me in I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to. Uh, I've already been paid for it too. And now, how much train? was it worth that? Oh, another accident. Was the money worth it, Sojuro? I remember right. The parents of all traffic. Are... The grind. Set. I wonder how much it. How, I I wonder genuinely how much you get paid for taking in like a troubled fucking student. Not students, a, a troubled teenager. Damn, I think they're I wasn't able to open the Oh my god, my fucking game bugged for a second but, there. Yeah, the walk is like so fucked. Yeah, it's because it's a cutscene walk. Alright, skipping this. He has to be getting paid a bit, because there ain't no way this like cafe is running the bills. Like, uh, how there's much, no way how this much shit's, like, you, paying like, for itself. Genuinely, how much do you think it is? Probably a fair bit, because you could, like, walk to Shibuya. Hold on, let me see. Do I have one that's, like, post-prologue? That's post-Kamashida. Fuck! I don't have a post-prologue save file? That fucking sucks. Whatever. Do 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 Alright, I guess all I can do is sleep, right? I like how, like, listen to this. Let's do it. Yeah, female voice actor, a bitch. <laughs> the girl voice actor. I would have done it for free the develop I sent the developer an email being like hey can I interview you for a video and uh they never got back to me but I so would have done the voice acting for free I would have been like I should add something give her a cunt era voice there should be a I don't fucking know what I wonder if they're gonna have I wonder if they're gonna have like the main character speak in the next persona game <laughs> Well, like, their speak, like, their dialogue options. Well, I mean, just in general. I mean, it would help too, like, if like, fans can't, scenes. like, read, so, yeah. Would help. <sighs> Fuck, I ate literally nothing yesterday, and I've not eaten anything yet today either. It's, like, 7 p.m. nearly. How many calories are in this monster? <laughs> you know I have a problem when you're checking the calories of a can of monster. <laughs> 200, okay. The dumbass bitch ain't even looking at her phone. She's looking at like the ceiling. <laughs> White girls be crazy. 
What's a sign? Oh, it's it's written in kanji. I'm not I'm not even gonna attempt. I'm not even going to attempt. Okay. So here, I'll feed you. Thank you. What's that reaction for? Thank you, Sojur, for feeding me curry. Oh, I'm feeding it to my forehead. Thank you. Arigato, Sojiro. Got it. Yeah, I am from the country. Yo, fucking Ren is so from fucking Inaba. Sojiro is even like, yeah, you're from the country. Ren is so from fucking Inaba. It's my head cannon. Young Genjaya. I made fun of so many people on Twitter for not being able to navigate this. Cause like I've never been that way. What the fuck? People people are cannot actually like the persona fans can't read thing is actually so obvious because like Sleep, have you ever been to an airport or train station in your life? I've been to a train station. Okay. Not an airport. So you see so like it's telling you is telling you, go to Shujin Academy, change the Ginza line. Oh, I can't lie. I've been like, <laughs> I've been skill checked by this a couple of times too. L look, literally look above, look above Joker's head right now. Ginza line, JL line, Inagami line. You go up the stairs. Oh, what do the signs say? Ginza line, JL line, Inagami line. Okay, let's see. Right, let's see. Let's look for lines. Uh, let's look for let's look for signs that say Ginza line. Oh, Ginza line. All right, cool. Let's see. Herm. Let's see. Okay, just keep going forward. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. You don't understand. I need a giant arrow above the character pointing where I need to go. Yeah. Okay. So Kobaya. Uh. What, what did I say? Uh. Koyoko line, Shinfu Koto line, and tickets. Okay, that's not for me. JL lines. Well, the Ginza line is on the JL line, so I should go up here. Alright, let's go up the escalator. Ginza line. Awesome. Alright. Oh, the Ginza line area is shut off. Okay, well. Okay, JL lines. We need to go to the Ginza line. Okay. I think anyone's dropped the game at this point. I know a lot of people got confused, and I'm trying to I'm trying to show that it's really not that hard to navigate the train station if you literally just, like, look. Alright, Shibi Station, we need to go up here, because guess what it says? It says Ginza Line. Oh, there's the Ginza Line. There we go. People that are, like, people genuinely have no, like, awareness. I'll be right back. Someone is calling me. There's been a lot of nasty accidents lately. You know, I mean the subway accident that the news is talking about. My coworker got caught up in it and is in the hospital now. But that aside, it's kind of creepy. It's the fucking cops trying to make me pay for them again. What? I've been having the same like fat cop dude try to call me so he could I could donate to his fucking shitty cop donation shit. I'm like I don't want to do that. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Ayama Ichome. This is Ayama Ichome. If you couldn't hear, if you couldn't hear the the announcer in the background saying that this is Ayama Ichome, it also says it in text. Like one of my problems with P5 is it's just like way too big. No, it, you, you know what P5 is? P5 is edging. It is stop and start, stop and start, stop and start. That's why P, I don't like P5. What's like, in, like, P4, everything, like, in terms of, like, the most complicated you get is the school. <laughs> I wouldn't even say the school is all that complicated. It isn't. But, like, everything's on, like, a straight line, so you can just get to anything you need to in the town. Fucking, what it is, is, it like, they, not my joker. Um, fucking Persona 4 just is more anime. Like this is this game's pretty anime, but like Persona 4 is pretty anime. That shot's crazy. Legend of Zelda, fucking the Phantom Hour. No, Spirit Tracks.
prayers. I saw a mod that replaces Ryuji with Denji from CSM. <laughs> I think the thing I like about Persona 4 is that it's pretty gender as well. I want like the next homie character hmm. in Perso like in Persona. Like the next Ryuji archetype to just be like a woman. What about Spirit Tracks? Fucking Huh? Spirit Track because the fucking big big fucking guys and these guys, they look like fucking what Zelda has to like haunt. Do you get it? Do you get the meme? Do you get the joke? Mm. See, Andre Dev fucking patching his game every time someone finds a fucking speedrun glitch. Huh. Where'd your energy from earlier go? This is the fakest shit I've seen in my life. Like you isn't worth You've only experienced this game through John Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using the same layout, so I don't have live Josh reaction. Whatever, I'm getting fitted. I don't care. Fuck this guy. This fucking porn addict. And now you wanna play it? You've never played it. Why are you so defensive about it? I don't wanna play it. You, you pro I probably every time John Awesome went down to Mementos, you skipped through that. <laughs> <laughs> Mementos episode? Fucking god. I'm, I don't wanna play Persona 5. It, it quite literally, like, I think I might have gotten rid of footage gathering in my, pl in my title. But I can very much easily promise you this is for footage. I guess, but it looks like a normal armor set. It's a joke. <laughs> I did play it. No, you didn't. I, no, you, no, you're lying. <laughs> you're blatantly lying. You're trying to gaslight us, Josh, and we do appreciate it. Are you going to try to do Arsene okay. only? Uh, let me think about it. Yandere Dev when fucking people find a new speedrunning strat. God, this is effing nuts. Anyways. Yandere Dev adding a new fucking shitty God, mini game instead of actually working on the core yeah. gameplay. Adding another fucking like seasonal thing. Didn't he add like Toho stuff? What was that? There was a so there was a part I was gonna work on. It was like a DDR game that he cut because they did all the music for it. And I started like talking shit about him. <laughs> yeah, what did you, what even is your involvement with fucking Yandere Dev? Because I I remember music your music composition. <laughs> music composition? Yeah, I, I worked on some of the music for that game. Really? Mhm. Mm what was it like? Um, talking to him, I mean. It was pretty incompetent. I wish I had some access to some of the stuff he sent me because because this part account is gone. So he's fucking in, isn't he in prison? Uh, no. Or do you just get shoot off the internet? I haven't seen anything to confirm that he's on prison. His Discord might be gone though. Yeah, his Discord's probably yeeted. But um, I remember when I was working on this, like it was, cause I, my big like involvement was there was this music club where, like, you could watch like a band performance, and so I did all the like different stems and all that stuff for the game. Mm. And. I did some like additional work for this like DDR game. Again, that never came to be because I I was talking shit about him because I mean it's fucking Yandere Dev. <laughs> and <laughs> it never came to be because surprise surprise we're talking about Yandere Dev. Yeah. Wasn't it um, was it an Alex? Al yeah, it's Alex Alex Mahan. Alex Mahan. It, it shit's like public. Yeah, I mean, bro's a fucking predator, isn't he? Like that shit should yeah, be. Yeah, he should be on everyone's radar. <laughs> yeah. You you know something I've learned, um, unfortunately, uh, be, being a being a trap on the internet when I was a teenager. Um, there's a lot of people who were trying to riz me up, but they had their full legal name. Is they're like shit, and I was like, "Why is that?" And they're like, "Oh, I'm a sex offender. I'm on the registry, and it's like by law I have to have my full legal name in my like shit." And I was like, 
Oh. Well, now I know how to avoid fucking weird ass fucking people. Yeah. On the internet. But I remember like him trying to direct me towards like a scene. Well, he was trying to direct a song for uh like the mini there was like a little DDR mini game that was gonna <laughs> What did he do? Did he send you a video of him beatboxing or something? <laughs> no, he pointed the camera at this his like keyboard, right? Oh no. Like at the arrow key. No. He's like, I want a song that goes like this. And he just started like kind of just like pressing on the keys. I was like, uh I have to work with this. <laughs> You know what? Like, I wish that he just, like... I wish he, like, set his expectations a little bit lower. Because, like, I bet he could, like... I, I mean, I've read his I've read his Persona 3 fanfiction. The guy's a pretty pretty decent writer, all things considered. He's... It's... He's, he's okay at writing I think he was so dialogue. hard carried by the people around him. And he would constantly just, like, fuck himself over. Like, uh, there yeah. was gonna be a complete remodel for all the characters. He had voice actors model. and stuff. Well, that too. He had like the guy who voices Freddy, like from FNAF, like has like some voice work on the game. Fucking insane. But um, I don't see a what was I gonna say? Sorry, I was, it's okay. I was completely blank. Um, ravage them. God damn it! You're talking about fucking Yandere. Oh Devin yeah, there's gonna be like a complete remodel because the base models were, were from some like unity asset shit and so he's getting like fully like new models that were gonna be for like kind of a new art style for the game and it it got like fucking scrapped because he got angry that the person wanted credit <laughs> they wanted credit they didn't even want payment fuck me they didn't even want payment they just wanted credit that's so sad like actually he's such a loser fucking real His like, streams, he would be like low tier god, but incel. <laughs> low tier god, but incel. Like, I mean, I'm writing my own like manga thing, like manga book series, and like I've I've finished writing the first one, like the dialogue and and like the plot, and I've also written out like every chapter. And so I have like a I have a basic consensus of like what this story is gonna be. I just need to either learn how to draw a manga or like when I get Let's money, go. I would like to commission somebody to like draw. Uh, manga panels and then ideally it would be like a cool like merch thing you know yeah like I think instead of doing traditional YouTuber merch you can get like I don't know a, a book like a manga book I think that's pretty cool every, every time I saw his room it was like the most like decrepit thing ever it was fucking it was bedroom wild yeah his bedroom was wild I won't lie my bedroom's a little bit decrepit right now I got two two mugs he had like, like a duck ten you know monster those, like, cans things? The probably exercise exercise yeah um he had one of those but it was like so dusty just in the corner like i could tell he just never used it i mean you can tell by the fucking look of his face bro's fucking so like sad. actually like i mean like by bmi categories i'm i'm obese but bro's fucking like obese you know he fucked himself he did i think i need to like is i wonder if there's a way to like Fuck, this, is, this might be a bit too much. What if there's a way to, like, weigh your, like, chest and, like, your, like, I want to know what my BMI is for, like, my thighs and my butt and my boobs so then I can subtract it and know what my actual, like, stomach weight <laughs> fat is, right? I think that's something, well, I think they account for that with the, like, feminine BMI. No, but they don't, though. Do they? No. I swear they like have more like leniency on that kind of no, stuff. No, cause no, cause there's no option to put in like my my like cup size or whatever. Huh. And so like all this weight that's on like my chest, which I, I will say is fucking heavy. I have back pain like all the time. Like it's fucking. Like I feel like I should be detracted at least a, a couple pounds of weight <laughs> per chance. I need to go to per the chance. faculty office, perchance. Maria the man versus Maria the idea. I'm trying to think of some other shit that, like, I, there was a lot of drama with the uh, Yandere Simulator. There's been a lot of I drama. Defend, I defended the dude at a couple of points because I felt like there was a lot of 
misinformation. And if you want to criticize the dude, I want like the information to be correct, so people like can fucking easily just have Alex go around like, hey, this is what my my critics are doing to me. Hmm. He was a baby though, a little baby. Like I'm, I, I'll admit, like when I ask for constructive criticism. And you don't just praise me. I'll be honest, I get a little sad, but I, I won't be like, you're wrong. You're fucking stupid. Get owned, idiot. Get that ass banned. Get, that, get out of here. Because I asked some people Mods, on their opinions of my first, like, because I because I have like a rough draft of like the settings and dialogue and stuff like that. And, um, fucking, yeah, so I have like a. It's, I have like a basic standpoint through it and like I've asked people to like give their opinions on like oh what do you think of each chapter and they're like seems a little bit unnecessary you can like move it around it's like I don't want to do that I though mean, I have a little bit of experience with uh like writing characters for like games mm. um I, I was working on a game ironically with another pedophile <laughs> and <laughs> okay so if I can and... promise you one thing I am not a pedophile well, yeah. I, I have a really bad track record with these things. <laughs> well, I have a bad track record in the sense of that I, I used to... I, before I rebranded, I used to do, a, like, a transgender positivity podcast, right? And I had, like, Twitch affiliate and stuff like that. Like, we were pretty decent, raking about 30 to 50 viewers on average. Which, I mean, Twitch standard, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. But, like, my first co-host turned out to be a neo-Nazi... And then I replaced, oh. I replaced the neo Nazi with one of the neo Nazi's friends, and uh, it turned out that the neo Nazi's friend was a predator. Here, I'm gonna send you. I have like a Twitter thread of a lot of this like scrap stuff for this project. I was really sad about this because I felt like this was gonna be a legitimately like solid like Undertale. Game project. Yeah, we were kind of going for something like that. It was gonna be like a mix of that with like a more. It looks like minute. Based game. It looks like minute. Yeah. Undertale. Yep, I'm leaving now. December 2023. This is recent. Yeah. Well, no, this is. I like uploaded this because I found it on my drive in like December. But this shit was like back in like 2020. Damn. I'm trying to think what I did in 2020. Uh. <laughs> Can't talk about it. <laughs> I didn't go to school. I, for six months, I didn't go to school in a foreign country where I didn't speak the language. At least at schools. Huh? Aren't there fucking shooting range? I mean, that's the case in like every other country that's not America. Have there, have there been any school shootings in Canada? Let's see. Because if there has been, I've not heard about it. Like, ever. Oh, yeah, there has. There has? How long ago? Um, there was the... Months or years? I'm trying to figure it out. 1989, there is one. Okay, 1980, that was 40 years ago. 30 years ago, even. Seriously? School shootings by country. Oh, what's going on? How about let's not talk about that topic? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look, is it... I wonder um, how bad, how damn bad some like VTuber fan bases are. There's some rough ones. There's oh. a there's this one VTuber I have like a specific hate voter for, and she's like an ex like cringe rapper. But Mori. Yeah. Why? She's only weird. she's only racist. Like, come on. <laughs> she's not. Look, she's just not black male or hood enough. But I mean, she is like other than being racist. Like, what what problems do you have with her? Well, aside from the racism, I mean, her music's like atrocious. <laughs> it, <laughs> like some of the lie. worst music I've ever heard. <laughs> you guys trying to get the stream flagged or what? Nah, I won't get flagged. There's porn on this website. They're, they're really looking at the, the the five viewer stream. Fucking 
the uh, devil's dick wait what the fuck why is my okay my fucking thing that gives me the answers isn't showing up oh did you not connect the network no it's not that it's um i do have a mod that like gives me the answers but i i guess it's not working i'm pretty sure it's villains has to be yeah The, the answer stuff is like so good. <laughs> I, I, the answer is in like the Google test shit. answers or Persona 3 the answer? Fuck Persona 3 the answer. Fuck Persona 3 the answer, I agree. My game sucks. My, uh. One of my. So, because I'm like impoverished, right? <laughs> I'm 3.5k in debt. Um. And so, you know, not doing too great. Um, so one of my, my, one of my friends was like, oh, can I like give you, like, can I like PayPal you money? I was like, uh, if you did, you'd just be helping me pay off my PayPal debt. You wouldn't actually be, you wouldn't actually be helping much. Um, uh, but what would help would like buying me cosplay because then I can like start doing like cosplay stuff again. And that would allow me to make a little bit of money. Um, and so like. My friend uh, knows my sizes and my address and stuff like that because they're my friend. Friends know this information. Um, and so she was like, okay, I'm buying you this amount of money to for cosplay and just expect a couple of extra surprise gifts. And I was like, um, that's kind of sussy, but okay. So yeah, uh, maybe cosplay streams coming soon, maybe, perchance? Hell yeah. Nah. Black. I'm male. not. What'd you just say? Or black male or hood enough. I'm. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you class as hood? What is hood to you? What am, she am I hood? Classifies hood. That's what I need to know. Am I, am I hood? <laughs> I don't know. You were in like Japan for a bit. I was, I've was. i been in Japan for a bit. I've been in Korea for a bit. I've been in fucking Spain for a bit. I've been in France for a little bit. I've been in Canada for a little bit. And I've been in the US for a little bit. You were in France. I think you've like lost all the hood uh, <laughs> left in you. <laughs> wee wee. I didn't like it. I was there for two months and I was like, I, please send me somewhere else. I'm being bullied. That, that was my excuse. Wee -wee. I was saying that I was being bullied when I wasn't. I just really hated it. Oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I've been like threatened to be like R worded and like people are being transphobic, so please like send me somewhere else. France just sucks. Eh, I've been there twice, it's not that bad. Disneyland there is good. Yeah. Yeah. We had a class trip there. In the two months that I was there, I just so happened to like arrive during the time when they were doing. It was like toward the end of the year, like academic year, if you know what I mean. What? Yeah. And so like they were going on like school trips and stuff like that, and so. Yeah. You'd be surprised how many like programs there are to have English speakers go to non-English speaking countries to like go to school. It's weird. <laughs> Ryuji just pulls out a fucking strap. <laughs> Ryuji got that thing on him. <laughs> um, Persona. 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 When I play Fortnite now. Whenever I get the fucking Zeus's lightning weapon, I scream Izanagi. And I hear fucking, I hear the guitar in the background. Oh, I think P4 by far is like the best music in the franchise when it comes to just like one individual game. But if we're talking like multiple, then I'd have to say three in its entirety because it's like, you know, it just has the most amount of shit, right? So I guess it makes sense, right? I'm gonna fucking die. I just realized. Fucking hey, heal. Fucking persona. Fucking persona five. Fucking. Pers if you if you die a single time in persona five, like you have to give up your like 
ending my career. Like, car yeah, you have to like be. It's basically a career ender. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking murked by the first enemy. Why's Morgan died? Morgan A. Morgan died. I think you're about to die. I might. I just might. Do I have like an extra hard mod on or something? What the fuck? Why'd Morgana die in two hits? Isn't this the fucking tutorial area? Washed? Are you calling me washed up? You're washed. What? I don't know what that means. I don't speak means dumbass. <laughs> dumbass. Fucking Dojima when he fucking slaps a dachi on the back of the fucking head. Dumbass. You know what? I try to kill his daughter too. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you? Those two are like the best characters in P4. What, Dojima and fucking... I just realized, they just gave me the gun and I just Monica. skipped... Oh. Yeah. Also, Morgana for crit. Oh, Morgana got crit. Alright, gun. Morgan, heal me, please. Oh, I forgot, this is Tutorial City. See, the thing I like about Persona 4 is that it's prologue is four hours long, and then that's it. But Persona 5 is like, hey, let's talk about that. Like, good mythical morning looking ass motherfuckers. <laughs> Cleave. Or, uh, fucking, what up? Don't kill me. Oh, let's go. Alright, sick. Persona 3 Reload, the answer, will have new events similar to dorm hangouts and new meta scenes. Is this they fucking were like, yeah, so like, um, what we're gonna do is we're going to nickel and dime you, fuck you. All I need to, all I want to know is fucking, does the answer, Persona 3 Reload, have the compendium. <laughs> if it does, does then the it's- the game not suck ass anymore? <laughs> Firstly, is it gonna be, like, faster? Is, is there gonna be less of it? Is there gonna be more of it? Is it gonna have the compendium? Are you gonna bring back the good tactics? I'll pass. Don't- stop tutorialing me. Oh, oh, fucking. Sounds like they're doing the route with hangouts. Ugh. So yeah, guys, we're stuck in a time paradox. But yeah, let's fucking hang out and like go to the beach or something. Yeah, let's just go to the beach, guys. Fucking Persona 3, man. Fucking hate reload so much. I'm so unhappy that I bought it on play. Well, that it got pre-ordered for me on PlayStation. Cause like, actually, fuck that game. Like mods would have fixed it, and like I don't even have access to said mods. Cause I'm playing on PlayStation. And if I could refund it, I so fucking would. But at PlayStation are like, um, if you buy a game and install it, then you can't refund it. Lol, fuck you. Fucking PlayStation. Fucking PlayStation. Why am I getting- I'm, I just got tweeted at by the police. Like, I just got a tweet notification, and it's, like, from my local police being like, can you identify- Why are we this? getting bothered by our local cops? <laughs> so, I'm gonna need use a fed. <laughs> did you update the stream link on your server? Yeah, I did. Let's go. There you go. Glow in the dark. <laughs> People don't usually watch my streams all that much, though. Yeah, well. I'm more of a YouTuber. Yeah, well, I'm a fucking... I'm just getting up my watch hours so I can get monetization, lol. 
I'm doing it in a I way that also it. doesn't like like I'm gathering footage in a way that means that like I get watch hours and also um scripted ass fight by the way. I hate how this is scripted. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. Literally ruins the game. She goes through the ground. Yeah. She tends to do that. You may be waiting. When you get on estrogen, you start clipping. <laughs> you do. You start speed running. <laughs> you start taking estrogen, you start speed running. You unlock backwards long jump. So you do. Back. You do. You, you gain the ability to BL Dre. Alright. Uh, I, I wish someone modded in like traditional menu, like traditional menuing into this game. Because I hate the like button per action thing, like a lot. Oh, he resists gun. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I never understood what these guys are supposed to be like a reference to. Guy on horse. Guy on horse. Be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Baby game. Yeah. For real. That's on. It's minor in a bikini. Nothing new to the Persona franchise. <laughs> I still think it's wild as fuck they like follow the Kamashita route with you immediately being able to date a teacher. And they start like immediately sexualizing on. Mmm. That's what it is. I only want gameplay footage, I don't need cutscene footage. Oh yeah shit, I need a watermark my shit. I forgot. Where's my where's my watermark? Oh, where the fuck's my watermark? No way. Right, uh it would be switch. And then I think it's image two, right? Fuck what is it? Yeah, it should be this. So I should copy. And then. And then scene. Oh, no, that's not it. Alright, that's it. And then paste as reference. There we go. Alright, watermarked. Yeah, fucking owned people that want to steal my fucking footage. Steal it from John. You ain't stealing from me, fuckers. Look, I have don't react to my content on my fucking thing. You think I'm okay with you, like, straight up stealing my footage? The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Bullshit. What do you think about reactors, Sleep? Uh, I think they're dog shit, and I'm sick of, uh... You know, I'm s I don't like current streaming. I think streaming is at its absolute worst it's ever been right now. Oh, look at that old chariot arcana. It looks uncanny. Ryugi right. Hungi. Haven't eaten anything. It'd be weird splitting up. Just follow me. What? The hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? I'm still eating, Ryuji. So, you left your hometown, and you're living here now, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, Ryuji. That is huh. what's Might happening. More like than I originally thought. No, we're not. Fuck did you do? I don't got a record like you do. I mean, that's Why, they have to change it to confidence? Uh, they just, they just try like to give this game, like, a unique identity, and us. I don't know. It didn't really you land. Belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. Um, cause there's, cause Atlas are stupid and they fucking wanted to make a game that's like fucking different. 
I can do that myself for you, Jay. Just let me do it. I gotta think they did all this it. shit to I'm differentiate hungry. this game from everything else, and then oh, proceed yeah. to make worse, like, Don't everything. Characters. <laughs> it's like, hey, here's let's make our persona game open here's world. Here's worse Yosuke right yes, here. Here's a... Uh, you know what it is? It's like, poverty creates creativity, but like, when you have like lots of money, you tend to like, just like, fuck it up. You wanna know my examples? Persona 3 is like, a poverty game. Like, Atlas had no money, and then Fest was like, an expansion, because like, they wanted to make an epilogue, and so they made Fest, and they also made the append disc. And then they made Persona 4, and Persona 4 is a ROM hack of Persona 3 Fest. And then, after all that, they made, like, a fuck ton of spin-offs, because, it, like, Persona 4 started making money. And then, uh, fucking, what happened was, uh, then Persona 5 came out, and it took them, like, forever, and, like, the budget was, like, so high. Uh, and the game is trash. It's so funny, because my favorite Atlas game is a game and they dumped a bunch of budget in it and it just failed. <laughs> no, exactly, that's what I'm saying. So those big budget games, they're just fucking, they do terror, they're just, they're just bad. I think they just marketed DDS badly, but... Yeah, well they spent the money on the game, not the marketing. Yeah. Alright, I can get my bonus, bonus as fuck content. My favorite part of Persona 5 is getting all the DLC uniforms. There we go. Oh, fuck off, Ryuji. I don't care. Go away. Do what I mean? It's stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Cutscene. Can't skip. This is why I hate replay repeated playthroughs of this shit. Because at least with Persona 4's prologue, you can, you can like turn a four hour long prologue. And then immediately get into gameplay. And, like, that's it. While well, the shit is, like, fucking just... Oh, skip, 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 skip. Longest day transition fucking ever. And then, like, th that's from Persona 4. Cool. Yeah, no, that's a cool thing. Alright, longest transition ever. Alright, that was... Longest transition ever. Cutscene. And then nothing burger, last day. Two F. And who am I? Finding the guy from two D. Then you're going to classroom two D. And then we talk to this guy. I'll split up. Third years. No, it's the first years, not third years. So, do you want... <laughs> so, do you want to have semblance of fun, or is it... Or just Izanagi no Akami. What do you think I am? Do you really <laughs> think I am the type of motherfucker to go through this game with Izanagi no Akami Picaro and just absolutely just obliterate the game? Because that is wrong and that is a very poor judgment of my character. And. Wait, what it is? Fucking. Alright, third years. Okay, so now is the point where I go to the third floor. This game, like, incentivizes fast traveling so much, and it's, like, not cool, because, like, a lot of, like, there's a lot of, like, cool details and stuff that you just, like, completely miss if you just, like, fast travel everywhere. But I will be doing that, because, um, in short, fuck dealing with this game. Um, fucking Izanagi Okami. Izanagi no Akami is an absolute fucking just. Izanagi no Akami is like actually like the win button. Yeah. 
Like, I often joke about the fucking win button. Didn't say Picaro. I won't lie, I used it the, during my PC playthrough because I did not want to play through this game in its entirety again. Nah, that's not right. That's not right. That's fucked up. It's so evil. You are. I should call you Evil Live. Evil Live. I should call you Scheme Live because you're a fucking schemer. I'm a schemer? Yeah. I'm so you can fucking piss in the women's bathroom. Am I just like stupid or something? Like, where the fuck are the fucking class three suit? Uh, there's a guy with. There we go, I found him. Uh, uh -huh. Fucking finally. It's like, where's the third year? Oh, it's on the first floor. Ugh. And then it's like, yeah. Okay. First year. So now we need to find a first year. I'm pretty sure it's fucking... What's his name? Mishima. Fucking Mishima. Fucking Mishima. Where the fuck is what Mishima? What were they planning on doing with Kawakami? They're just looking at her? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, they wanted to meet her, right? They, they got a whole fucking apartment and everything. Like... Who are they cooking? I don't know, but like... Need information. Oh, this is the first hit. Right, Mishima. We found his location. We found his, his fucking address. location. We're on route like a fucking heat-seeking missile. It's fine. We'll find him and we'll beat the shit out of him for information. I'm busy. Fuck off, on. Imagine like having a character that's actually pretty attractive and then giving her the ugliest hairstyle possible. Who on? I like her hairstyle. I don't. I, th I think like in dancing, you can have her like hair down and she looks like so much better. There's also a goth girl on and goth girl on is also like precious as fuck. Can I, can eBay give me my money now, please? It's like 7 PM. It's been like longer than 48 hours. Please give me my money. Please give me my money so I can order Burger King, because I would really like to get Burger King. I'm gonna be really sad when they uh, inevitably remake Persona 4 and give them some like wacky dumb bullshit gimmick. Have you seen the Persona 4 Platinum video? No. It's the funniest fucking meme ever. It's okay, a- It's on Mishima's social link, it's pretty good. Have I done Mishima's social link? Is that what you just asked me? Oh no, someone asked the oh. opinions on the social link. Um, isn't he an NPC? No, he's a, he has a social link. No, I mean, like, for the, for the toddler line. Pay me! Fucking give me my money! You have no upcoming payouts? Then pay me! Schedule payouts, no. Save. Oh my fucking god, just give me my money. <laughs> Do I need to call request payout? These motherfuckers these motherfuckers blocked me from getting my Honestly, they should have just killed this character when she killed herself. Who she ho? Yeah. Why because on social link is like 90% fucking oh she ho she ho. That and like this game has, like, no balls to it. <laughs> this game doesn't- it talks about fucking, like, sexual abuse. What do you mean? Well, yeah, that's in, like, the first, like, And then it talks though. about, like, extortion. But it's done in such a goofy way. The yeah, extortion- I, I won't lie, like, the Kanashira arc is handled really poorly. Cause, uh... Oh yeah, I have the Rising Sun thing on Ryuji's shoes still, cause, uh, fuck censorship. Why would you fucking pay me, PayPal? I want burger! Give me burger! I want my fucking burger! Like, because I sold um, my original copy of Persona... Not Persona. I, I sold my original copy of Pokemon Black. The, like, my, the one from my childhood. Because I don't really... I, don't re I didn't really fuck with that game when I was a kid. Oh, uh, by the way. Huh? 
L, by the way. L? No, fuck off. No, it's just I played Pokemon Gen 4, and then I played Heart Gold Soul Silver. And then I played, uh... And then I played Black and White, and I was like, wow, this is the game. This game is a fucking downgrade. Um... Anyways, Insane, by the way, Heart Gold and Soul Silver is like the best like Pokemon games. In my no, opinion, it's not. But no. it is. It is. I Sorry, recently Gen replayed them. Mid. I recently, I recently replayed Heart Gold Soul Silver like last year. Um, I picked Chikorita as my starter, and I did it with did it with Nom and uh, Bubble Tea. And uh, yeah, no, if you like want to have a varied, if you want to have a varied team, it the game just punishes you. Wait, you chose Chikorita? Yeah. Oh, uh, that that's where your problem started. No, it's not it's not even that. It's like I, I tried to use different Pokemon and stuff like that. Like I wanted to use only Gen 2 Pokemon in this Gen 2 game and it was pretty challenging to just do that. And then like I also um So like I, I only wanted to use Gen 2 Pokemon and I wanted to use like different Pokemon and so like I got a fucking um I got a Larvitar, I caught like a Quillfish, I, I like went back after getting a good rod and got a Quillfish. Um, you know, I used like a bunch of different very like new Pokemon, but like, not only is, is the game just like not well balanced, but just like, it's just fucking bad. Like, the, the, like the, there's so much like, Team Rocket shenanigans, like there's far too much of it, and then like, the fucking final gym leader thing with Lance is just not fair. It just isn't fucking fair. Okay. But, that game has an amazing post game. It no, has... it doesn't. Yes, it does. The wild Pokemon are like level 13 while you're fighting level 50 fucking bug catcher fucking Jimmy. Level fucking well, you have like some of the catcher... coolest legendary events in all of Pokemon and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. You have. Well, yeah, you Man. can catch like you can catch like every legendary in this fucking game. You can catch Latios, Latias, the legendary beasts, Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza, both Ho Oh and Lugia in one version of like in like let's say you have Soul Silver, you can catch both and Heart Gold the same. Likewise, you could hatch Garatina through like the most like trippy fucking event Pokemon's ever done. Yeah, if you have Arceus, you can cat you can go to like the Shinto ruins or whatever, which is like a fucking. Which has like way more significance now that PLA exists, right? Pokemon Legends Arceus. Gen 2 fans are- Oh, I'm gonna about to smack you! <laughs> Gen 2 fans are Gen 1 fans with an extra stuff. The only thing- The only reason that I would ever give any kudos to Gen 2 is that like it's the first game that have shiny hunting. And the shiny hunting is really autistic. Cause like, it's a genetic thing. Not like a- It's a genetic thing, so you can like breed the shiny Rayquaza. Not, not Rayquaza, Gyarados. You can breed the shiny Gyarados with other Pokemon and, like, have the odds be, like, 1 in 200 of getting a shiny when, like, regular odds are 1 in... 1, eight, one in 8,192. That game, like, actually fucking just kept giving me content as a kid. Yeah. And then, uh, they... Uh, what was it? They had, like, the Olympics or whatever. Yeah, the Pokeathlon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that shit was awesome. And you can do um, it to, like, get uh, evolution stones. Um, they had, uh, what the fuck was it? It was the... Catching it was, like, the Safari... No, it was just the f Safari Zone, wasn't it? Just, like, straight up, but I was in Johto. Uh, that wasn't... It, that was only in Hard Gold, Soul Silver, but it was, like, the best Safari Zone in any Pokemon game ever, because, like, you can, like, use your own Pokemon in there, like... It's not like an actual traditional safari zone. It's a safari zone in the sense of that you can catch Pokemon that you can't typically catch. Um, but like the thing is with the safari zone, like in Gen Two, is that it just doesn't exist because there wasn't enough space on the cartridge. Well, yeah, but we're we're talking Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Are the, we? Because I'm I, like I think the the original Gen Two is is pretty neat. I think the original Gen 2 is pretty neat too, but I think Heart, Heart Gold and Soul Silver are just like better games. <laughs> I think the the Virtual Console re-release of um the Virtual Console re-release of Gen 2 is probably one of the like best things 
that has ever happened to Gen 2 because it allows you to catch Celebi once you beat the game, unless you're in Japan for some reason. That Celebi event is really cool. It is really cool. You get the GS ball. Yeah. Yeah. I remember um, back in the day, I would watch a bunch of like shitty ROM hack videos trying to figure out how to get the GS ball, and then I just eventually realized that it was like an event thing. I remember doing the same do for it. Diamond and Pearl. I was like, how do I do this? And then it usually end with people clipping through walls. I'm like, oh. Well. <laughs> mm. You know the pixie sorcerer bit from regular show? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, so there's this, like, one episode that's about, like, this board game that's, like, it's, like, D&D. &D. And they're like, oh, if you don't, like, the, and, like, Mordecai complains about the character design of the characters, and it's like, oh, it's just, like, look at this, what's the pixie sorcerer? It's like, oh, there's more characters than just the pixie sorcerer. And it's like, no, there isn't, because every character is just, like, the pixie sorcerer, but with, like, a different clothes on, or, like, just looks, like, slightly differently. And that's just my opinion of, like, Jack Frost. <laughs> like, just the Jack bros. Alright, this chest is, like, not worth getting, so I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, actually, I can do the do outfits now, can I? Phantom suit. And we'll be putting on the... Da -da 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 -da. Where is it? It's... I feel like the stealth would be, like, really cool in this game if they just, like, made it better. Mmm. <laughs> like, it's so undercooked. Oh, there we go. Gen 3 sucks, though. I'm sorry, chat. Gen 3 is alright. What do you not like about Gen 3? Nom also doesn't like Gen 3, so, like, what's your opinion? I don't like exploration in that game. The Pokemon, in general, that were introduced in that gen were just not all that interesting to me. Do you don't like- um, do you don't like Shuffet and Banette? Not really. What about Salamence? Like, also not really. I feel like he's a lot cooler in his like mega evolution. <laughs> Alright, fair enough, but guess what I guess what game introduced the Mega Salamence? X and Y. Gen 3 Remix, baby. Was it? Yeah. Or yeah. I'll give Gen 3 Remix this, their post game's a lot better than the original. I don't get why people talk about like the post game, because like to me the post game is just shiny hunting. I love post game in Pokemon. I don't know. I think I don't play like, it. Hunting down just... legendaries is like the coolest shit. Oh, hunting legendary, I guess. Like personally, I just like shiny hunting. Like that's that's my that's my idea of post game. That was always like the most appealing part to me was just going around and like looking for like cool events and stuff. With well, I mean, the, I'd argue that Gen Three, well, like, Emerald has the best fucking post game of any Pokemon game, and I think that's like mm. unanimous among all Pokemon fans because the Battle Frontier is like the best. I never did the, like, Battle Tower stuff. Exactly, so, like, you should fucking do it and then come back with your fucking, like, improved opinions. Well, I, I think the one in, uh, fucking, what's, uh, Black and White and, uh, Sun and Moon are better. What, because you can fight Red? Well, you could, it's like a, a huge fan service. It's like, I like this thing because it's fan service. It's like, okay, so you just like fan service then? Yeah, I do. Because you just said that. That's because most Pokemon games don't have post games. That's true. Like the original Black uh, Sun, sorry, original Sun and Moon was like awful post game wise. What do you mean? I had to use fucking whole thing about catching legendaries. It's literally like your fucking. That's your entire thing. Yeah, but it's like the, the most beasts. boring version of it. The Ultra Beasts like were horribly executed in uh, Base Sun and Moon. So it's not the fucking. So you lied. It's not the fucking. It's not catching legendaries. Fucking... Oh, I think Ult Ultra has an awesome post game. It's the fucking same game. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Bro, you're stupid. I am not stupid. You, you can't. Okay, you're a little bit stupid. You can admit that you're a little bit stupid. It's okay. No, I'm a little bit stupid. I don't think people give uh, Ultra Sun Moon enough credit. I think that game's awesome. I kind of the thing is that I say that it's forgettable because I just don't remember playing it. But at the same time, like I was, that was like actually like seven years ago. Like there's so much like cool shit they did with that game. Like they had a, 
Yeah, like Team Skull. Team Skull was a cool idea. You know what I hate about Sword and Shield? Everything? I hate Sword and Shield. <laughs> well, and like, I think it's like my least favorite Pokemon game. So, Team Skull... Uh, Team Skull, like, their, like, animations are reused for, um... Their, their animations are reused for Team Yell in, in Sword and Shield. And then for the rival, they just utterly fucking gave up. Because in Sun and Moon, the um, rival is called How, and in the in the fucking in Sword and Shield, your rival is called Hop. L one letter difference, and they use the same animations. They have the same personality. Like, what am I supposed to think? I really like Dimension Hopping, and and Sun Moon. I think it was cool. I like how Belphegor takes a shit to heal. That's funny. <laughs> team Skull was the last good evil team, and I stand by that. I mean, they weren't even like really that much of an evil team. They were kind of just goons. They were just gooning. <laughs> nah, like the evil team plot thing in Pokemon is just like it feels like such a necessary thing now. Yeah. Like, Team Rocket was, like, a thing. And then, like... The, I think... the first team... I think Team Rocket in... I really like them in Gen 2 because they're, like, really sad. Yeah, they're depressed. <laughs> like, they're just, like... They're just really depressed. But, like, I think Team Magma and Team Aqua are, like, a nice way to pull, like, the legendaries into, like, a thing that's, like, to do with the main story. In also, comparison. Also, just Bloods and Crips. <laughs> huh? They're just Bloods and Crips. Royal. Sorry, I was taking some painkillers because I got a little bit of headache. So I get a migraine whenever I fucking play this game. Um, Maxi from Team Magma. Yeah, no, I think that like, I think that like fucking the evil team thing like. It's... Black and white have the best evil team. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand. By I've that literally on only played like maybe six hours up to the third gym badge of of black and white, so genuinely could not give an opinion. I didn't like the games as a kid. Don't like them as an adult. Damn. I've been told I should play Black and White too because it doesn't have like the restriction of only Gen Five Pokemon. Or have I been lied to? And have I been lied to about that? I'm trying to remember. I think so. I think it has a lot more. I've never like considered like the availability of Pokemon much when I like play through the game. That's why. That's one of my reasons for liking X and Y so much is just because it has so like such a diverse portfolio of Pokemon that you can catch. Like I just feel like a lot of X and Y just happens, though. Like, the game doesn't really have much staying power. What do you mean you don't have staying power? What does that even mean? Like, I feel like the campaign doesn't take that long to get through. It's no, it doesn't. You can, beat it in, you can beat it in a day. It's pretty forgettable. I would disagree. I don't remember any of the gyms from that game. What do you mean? There's, is, like, the fairy gym that's a dollhouse. There's the fucking bug gym, which is, like, a big spider web. There's the rock climbing gym that has you literally rock climb up the side of a fucking, like, rock climbing thing. I don't remember any of this. And then the grass gym is, when like... When you mention spider gym, I just think of Black and White 2's bug gym. <laughs> and then, like, it has fucking... Um... The... It has the, like, the roller skates gym that's the fighting gym and then there's like the psychic gym which looks really really beautiful and there's like the ice gym that's like really cool i remember liking the champion like set like how it looks all the all of the elite four is like really good and to say that x and y is elite four is forgettable is stupid because it's literally a map in like smash in smash it's a tournament, i don't remember it's a tournament legal stage in super smash brothers so yeah but i don't remember like well, here, let me look this up. I'm actually gonna look this up because I don't remember. There's a guy. Gen there's a. Six? There's a guy yeah. in like a fucking full suit of armor. That's fucking hype as shit. Gym leader. Here, let me look this up. Um. I don't remember any of these people. Yeah, but like, look at their gyms and stuff. Their gyms are cool. Gym. 
And like the the, the, the rock gym leader only uses fossil Pokemon. No! <laughs> Ugh! Oh, I'm almost I remember down. the photography one. The, the bug gym, the first one? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's a bug net. It's a big, it's a big fucking spider net. What am I doing? Yeah, I don't remember any of these other ones, though. Maybe you should replay X and Y, because it's unironically like, one of the best Pokemon games ever. Uh... Gen 5 just had a lot more cool gimmicks. Well, yeah, but like... like you, please head to the exam you had the gym that was like a roller coaster. Um... See what else? Sorry. You had uh, the fucking dragon gym where you have the I remember the honey that gym. Interconnect. The honey gym. Yes, I remember the honey gym. Thanks. Fucking the elite four in that game was really cool too. I remember uh, there's like a fighting elite four. I remember something you, like I remember something to do with the um. The fucking bitch from the anime was like a gym leader or something. The black chick? <laughs> um, I, 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 the, the bitch with the axe you. I, I don't want to say person of certain fucking skin. It's the only, like, non-white person they have in, like... I wouldn't say she's, I wouldn't say she's black. I say she's more Garo than anything. I think she's black. I think she's, she's cool though. She's, she's girly a champion ball. in two. Oh, is she? Mm -hmm. Thanks for spoiling that for me, asshole. Oh damn. No, it's joking. I'm joking. I never play that game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I might. I might get a, a when I when I'm like I'm working. Yeah, again. Iris. Iris is cool. Iris, that's her name. I, yeah. I think she's a lot cooler in uh, the games. I remember her being kind of like annoying in the show. I remember when the an I I was really excited for Black and White. Like I watched the anime. And stuff like that but like the game not having any pokemon that i recognized really like put me off as a kid wait oh wait never mind what like, I, I thought i was looking at uh gen 6 gyms i was like wait they they all use the megas i don't remember this but they no. i got gaslit by reddit <laughs> all right is it, is it someone saying it'd be cool if they did yeah uh yeah, no, uh, someone said, like, oh, can we talk about them only having, um, only having three Pokemon. But here's my thing. Um, whatever. Like, Pokemon games aren't supposed to be, like, hard. Some people... Sun and Moon I was kind of disappointed by, with its, uh, trialers or whatever the fuck it was called. Like, yeah. I remember liking some of them in Execution, but a lot of them were just, like, go and collect thing, and then at the end you fight big boss monster. All right. All right. I think want? something cool about Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is that, uh, they... Those games refuse like to, um... Fuck, what, what, what am I saying refuse? They fucking, they are, they, um, they have like a IV trained trainers. Oh really? Yeah, they're, they're tra the trainers in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon have IV, IVs. Those fucking accessories are dog. Alright, All right, time to sell all my fucking Somas and shit, cause that's fucking cringe. Soma, gone. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Homunculus. Yeah, Gen 5 gone. Is awesome. What'd they all say? get crucified at some point, too. Hmm? Gen 5's gym leaders get crucified at some point. In what way? Like, people don't like them? I know, like, they actually get crucified. How? What'd you send me? What the fuck? Is this Persona 3? <laughs> <laughs> Gen 5 goes crazy. Look at, look at this cunt era. Look at this cunt era. Hold on. She like does this like cool idol animation where she puts her fucking hand up to her chin. Fucking do it. Don't make me look like an idiot. Oh, whatever. She's cunt era. I remember Gen 3's gyms also being like super forgettable. No, fucking the flying type trainer with the Altaria, the the flying type gym leader with the fucking Altaria. That's a menace. And then there's the twins, Tate and Liza. She, they're like a, they're like a super serious threat. You know, that's a that's a, that's a double battle gym leader. There's a, 
enormous. You played Scarlet and Violet, right? Yeah, very recently. Let's do it. Yeah. I remember being so confused why there was like a literal fetus in the Elite Four. Oh, uh, uh, what's her name? P uh, no. Uh, what the fuck is what the fuck is her name? I don't know. All I can remember is penis. Penis with pronouns. Sword and Shield just sucks ass. Like so on every level, it has like some of the worst music, <sighs> some of the worst Pokemon designs. Nah, I like more Pekko. And I like Scorbunny. I despise, I despise that gems like designs. I like um. Poppy, that that's sucks. it. I knew it would be another P. Uh, that's the uh, Scarlet and Violet fetus. Um, there's a lot of characters in Sword and Shield with pro- uh, not Sword and Shield, fucking uh, Scarlet and Violet pronouns. No, that's a bad thing. I think it's cool that they have, like, representation and stuff. Hell yeah. Dragapult. Dragapult. Can we talk about how, like, the legendaries for Sword and Shield are just the same fucking Pokemon? <laughs> what, Zacian and fucking... It's the same fucking Pokemon. You know what's, uh, you know what's funny is the, um, Zamazenta, the fucking, the shield one. The, like, if you go to the Pokemon store in New York, there is a, uh, there's, like, a display that has, like, the, the there was a display that had the, um... Oh, and then one of them was, like, taken and the other one nobody touched. Yeah, Zaishin, the yeah. one with the sword, everyone bought, and the shield one, like, it was just, like, stalked. They need to, like, gas up the fucking shield Pokemon. I regret buying sword over shield, because, like, um... The, uh, shield version has the, like, Galarian, uh... Pony top, fa the fairy type pony, like the My Little the Pony Friendship is Magic, shit. fucking bullshit. The more I just feel like it's ass. It's actually just like cheeks. What's ass? Uh, Gen 8. I'm just looking at the Pokemon list. Nah, like fucking. <laughs> well, I wanted to make a video at some point once I break into the Pokemon sphere. I wanted to talk about how, like, um,. How like DLC saved Pokemon because I think both of the DLCs for S Sword and Shield are like way better than the main game on like oh, many I agree. levels. I specifically the one with the Reggies I remember really like the the chill the the fucking snow one. What is it? Yeah, the, I Crown Tundra is based in Scotland. Yeah, that shit was cool. Eh, I guess. I am a Ichome. You can get. Galarian pony to through raid den swords. Yeah, but like why would I do that? That's like that just uh, that just sounds like a, a, a recipe to be miserable A yama ichome All right, I need to Go to fucking Darudalon is like one of the worst design Pokemon ever that shit looks Darudalon? The skyscraper dragon thing. Oh that shit sucks. Yeah, that thing is like one of the worst. I remember that I can get achievements in this version, and so I may do things to get achievements. Um, what can I do? What do you think of Rhythm Heaven? Rhythm Heaven? I've never played it. Really? It's peak. What do you want I know it's made by the dude who made Metroid. It's made by the WarioWare people. Who also made the truth. Yeah. It goes hard. What would you like? Or the worst Reggies. You really think the the uh what Dra uh, Reggie Lecky and Reggie Reggie Lecky goes hard. Reggie Lecky and Reggie, Reggie Reg Drago. Take your time. Reggie Drago's awful. One of the worst Reggies ever. <laughs> Reggie Drago, more like fucking Reggie Drago my nuts on your face. Get owned idiot. I suck at rhythm games. I'm really good at rhythm games. Like, I've been playing Guitar Hero since, like, I was very young. Gen 8 really does have the worst visual gimmick, though. Like, I think it's the most balanced, but it's really ugly. <laughs> what, fucking Dynamaxing? Yeah. It is... It's like... It's like... You want to know what I want to say to Megas? Uh, not Megas. Dynamaxing is that you'll never be him. Yeah. You'll never be him. 
It so desperately wants to be... It so desperately wants to be Mega Evolution, and they so desperately want to bring back Mega Evolution, but they just can't. Well, now they are. Ugh, let's see. Alright, so I've applied for jobs. If only getting a job was that easy and real. Joker wagey arc. Joker... I wish that you could just go to a job when you felt like it. I don't think Gen 7 has a single bad design. Now that I'm looking at it. Wishy-washy. Wishy-washy? No, wishy-washy goes crazy. No. Like the, the school form shit is cool. No, not the school form, just like the regular fish form. It's cringe. My personal worst is translation. I think anything that's not Megas is fucking cringe and gay, and I can say that as a bisexual. <laughs> Z moves were kind of cool. No, they weren't. Like animation wise. Oh, animation wise, totally. But like, fucking, it's like, it's like we have Mega Evolution. We have like a fucking thing that's like. They played Persona Five once and were like, big move, with like crazy animation. Let's do this. Was Persona Five out when Sun and Moon came out? I believe so. I think Sun and Moon came out in like December of twenty seventeen. Yeah. Release date. Yeah, it was like November, December 2018. Had to have been. It was, it was 2016. Oh wait, yeah, it was like 2015. Never mind. I'm full of shit. What? Yeah, it was 2015, 2016. What, Persona 5? No, uh, Gen 7. Gen 7 came out in 2015? Yeah. It was the Ultra games that came out in 2017. Yeah. No, that was 2016. Huh? Yeah, they came out a year after, it looks like. But I remember... Oh, yeah, no, I guess that does make sense. Yeah. So I kind of dropped... Ultra Beasts were so cool. Huh? <laughs> I liked Ultra Beasts a lot. They were cool. I didn't even get to... Like, I finished the game, and then I didn't... Um... Can you remind me 425? 425. Please. Uh, um... Well, I was on my bullshit. Yeah, fucking Sun and Moon, it was when I fell off of Pokemon because the shiny hunting method in that game was shit. Fucking SOS hunting was cringe as fuck. I'm trying to remember, uh, my least. Like, when did I fall off for a little bit? I think. I think I played Gen 6 and it legitimately made me fall off of Pokemon for a little bit. I loved Gen 6. I genuinely, I would like, I'd get home from school and I would, sh I would, um, wonder trade for like literally hours. I had both Omega Ruby and, uh, Alpha Sapphire and I maxed out my game timer in both games. I didn't get Gen 6 until like after Gen 7 had came out. I, I got Gen 6... Like, I got X and Y after I played Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and, like, I, was, I appreciated X and Y way more than Omega Ruby on Alpha Sapphire. I skipped Auras initially. You skipped it? Yeah. Auras yeah. is what, like, actually convinced me to get back into Pokemon, like, actually. Gen 3, I just do not like. <laughs> uh. I'm kind of, like, mixed feelings on it, because, like, on one hand, it's, like... It's like the most, like that and like Fire Red Leaf Green are like the most modded of like, they're the most like with the ROM hacks and shit, right? I just have like good memories associated with 2 and 5, but like 3, eh. 4 is cool. 4 has a lot of really cool shit. What do you think of BDSP? And don't say this, don't don't say no platinum content. Oh, you haven't played it? I didn't play it. Okay. Yeah. Because like. I saw no point. Because the entire reason I play remakes is because they add a bunch of like cool content. They do. It does. The Grand Underground completely changes how you play the game. Like, entirely. Like, you can have, like, Pokemon with egg moves and shit. Like... Well, on top of that, like, I like seeing newer Pokemon in the older games, too. And so, when they announced it was just gonna be basically the same as it was back then, I was like, oh, I don't really see a point in buying it. Mm. I really want to use Izanagi, but I know it's gonna break the dungeon. But at the same time, should I really give a shit? Herm, herm, herm. I really want to. Will people be mad if I use Izanagi? You can if you wanna. Chat, are you gonna get mad if I use Izanagi? This persona lacks 
it's gonna break like maybe one dungeon. That's true. I like how there's both forms of Orpheus, and both forms of Orpheus have a Picaro version. I think that's really cool. Do you think that's awesome? Wait, is that- do they have girl Orpheus? Yeah, look. There's Femsi Orpheus, and then Makoto Orpheus. Or the other way around, I don't remember which one's which. I never realized that. Yeah. Then there's one's like higher level than the other. Is this what you want? Except this has Neo Cadenza, which is like way more broken. Neo Cadenza is fucking absolutely just disgusting. I'll be mad if you do Picaro. Okay. Not using Picaro. Yeah, just do Izanagi if you want. Alright, I'm gonna do Izanagi. I'll also bring out. Neo Cadenza is disgusting, actually. What the fuck? <laughs> did you look it up or did you just say it on stream? I just saw it on the stream, yeah. <laughs> it's fucked. That's literally just like charge on top of healing. What the fuck is that? Why did they do that? <laughs> it's fucked. It's not fair. This what, like, I wish there was a. Uh, did you, you not register Arsen? It doesn't let you. Levels? Oh, really? Yeah. They don't want you to use Arsen only. They gotta fucking use him back at level one again. Izanagi. Did you see like the less sexual versions of the fucking things in uh, for X? X, yeah. Yeah, th what they did to Amara was hilarious. What they did to Amara, I haven't seen. They put a hat on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's like putting fucking glasses glasses and a jacket on fucking Shitler. Hitler. Hitler. We, we say shitler because it's 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 like enough for youtube to not immediately know youtube's not gonna get on you i'm telling you now i have like a video of me like saying like thank you i hate looking at the picaro ones and eh, the picaro ones are cool i like unique ones that is Here, funny you a it's a chinese yeah. hat that's funny <laughs> it's literally a chinese hat that's so funny they like beware de shriveled his balls also Hey, beware of rumors. Am I right or am I right, gamers? Uh, let's see. Midnight banana. Rumors was such a cool mechanic. It's like talk mad shit. Um, I could do Warden's Baton and just cross slash everything. That would be kind of funny. That's like one thing I hope. Oh, they need to incorporate it in like a remake like i i think going around and being like hey this shop has like this and just gaslighting everyone into thinking that so that, mm -hmm. that shop actually has that shit is really cool yeah increases evasion from critical and magic attacks this is these are so broken though like actually restore the 5 sp one after baton pa uh baton pass isn't that bad no because yeah. i think about it later in game like later game it's just like fucked um, yeah, I'm just gonna do Warden's Baton and everything, cause like, why wouldn't I? I low-key, when I play through modern Persona games, customize the difficulty so that everyone just does more EXP, because I do not like grinding. <laughs> I've, I really like the combat in Persona 4 to the point of where like, I was like, super over level. Like, I just like the combat in that game, but I fucking hate combat in this game, it sucks. I just wanna fucking Persona 3 myself. Can we fucking get a mod that removes yapping? Can we get a yap remover mod, please? <laughs> Just shuts the characters up. Yeah, it stops them from fucking yapping on about bullshit. I don't give a fuck about. It puts tape over their mouth. <laughs> All their portraits have fucking... Grinding's fun. Grinding's fun when you have nothing to do with your free time. That's my thing, though. I, like... I feel guilty when I play a game and I don't, like... Feel like I'll do a video on it eventually. I feel bad when I play a game and I don't record footage. Yeah. Especially when it's a game that I so could record footage for. When combat fun grinding for me. I'm I mean I like I like it in DDS, but also DDS you just constantly level up bullshit. I wonder if there's like a mod to remove cut in, like the cut in ending bit. Like I just want to see like the enemy, like and then like boom, that's it. That's I it needs to I be. don't like how they did uh the the splash screen for uh not royal reload, where yeah. it does it after done the and dusted. Money and stuff. 
Stupid. Like, it, it takes away all the momentum of it. Yeah. Fucking sweep this game. Alright. I am playing a oh, fucking yeah, thanks. Shut up. Let me play my fucking game. What are these fucking guys weak to? Alright, not weak to gun. Not weak to el uh, well, actually, I don't know if it's weak to electric or not. Not weak to electric. Weak to Garia? No. It looks like a plant, so I, I, I bet, I reckon, this weak to Agi. Wow. Pokemon logic. Pokemon! <laughs> I like how FMC Joker wears thigh highs. Someone said to me that like thigh highs are like sexual and that minors who wear thigh highs are like being sexualized. I was like, if you get turned on by socks, you have the problem, sir. I just realized I should probably be playing on hard instead of merciless because merciless is easier than hard. Eh, whatever. Show me your true Fucking form. Persona 5. It's because it looks like a plant. Alright. Oh, baton pass unlocked. And attack and recovery. Awesome. There's nothing I can do about it. Love that. Baton pass. Ryugi. Real. Um, this is just a broken mechanic like who at atlas was like yeah we should add baton passing and it just gives you a fucking free skill because fuck fuck any kind of semblance of balance like i don't i don't want to i'm not gonna use baton passing like that was a tutorial. I like that mod that does the colored shit. Yeah, it's good, right? All, uh, decks. It's sick. Yeah, that shit looks cool. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of like charm and stuff that's just like absent in this fucking game. No, to act like P5 isn't like visually awesome looking though is like crazy. I don't fucking I'm like sorry. his. <laughs> I don't like his visual fucking bullshit. I'm a big fucking hater of this fucking game. Oh, this is the stairs that. Never mind. I thought this was the stairs that I do the fucking grappling hook thing on. My bus. And then we're gonna do the sneaking tutorial. See what I mean? Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Tutorial. Isn't there like a seed here? Or isn't that like later? There's a. S I don't know when that tutorial is. Yeah, baton. No, we're not doing baton passes. Fuck baton passing. I'm not doing it. I need to use the air cannon to do a solid 50 damage because I actually, please forgive me, um, here is fine, alright cool. This game truly is a L2. The when game. you see, when you have to see the same splash screen over and over it gets grating. So true! And then once again another tutorial. We can't get through Yapping. The enemy's got our number. The situation is grim. Looking cool, Joker. Looking cool, Joker. Do it. 
hit every time you hit a one more. Looking cool, Joker! Because, like, even Futaba says the exact same thing. It's too dangerous to bother with them. F excuse me. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Morgan. Morgan A. Morgan A. Morgan Anthony. Shut up, Morgana. Just, bro's just not speaking truth. Who does Blood think he's fucking talking to? Like, actually. Yapping. Joker. Uh. And people ask me like, "Oh no, three different weaknesses. So scared to fight. So true." Like, as if that's like a fair thing. But yeah, sure. I'm pretty confident that I can just rush this enemy. Yep. People are like, why do you hate Persona 5 so much? It's like, here's, here's why. Such a mockery of P3 before his combat. So true. It's like, I'm trying to make this harder on myself. And it's just not, it's not easy. Like, this is merciless. This is the hardest difficulty, by the way. Okay. So-called hardest difficulty when it's just like fucking baby mode. What's like the worst RPG you've ever played? This one. This. Is Actual hater shit. <laughs> yeah, but you, you got you got, you can't deny my confidence is very like admirable. It's just hater shit. Yeah, but like <laughs> fucking, can you blame me? Be saying this shit. <laughs> Are you watching the same stream? Are you fucking watching the same stream as me? Yeah, it's just Persona Five. Yeah. These items they heal, the SP one. Alright. You think you would have been let, let down by this game? Absolutely. Like, like, if I played Persona 4 Golden when I should have, instead of buying Crash Bandicoot 2, if I bought this game instead of Crash Bandicoot 2, like, how many years ago? What, nine years ago? If I would have bought Persona 4 and I would have gotten to the franchise and I got a nice, shiny PlayStation 4. And I got Persona 5 on it for fucking Cr Crimblaze. I'd fucking cry. I think I'd actually cry. Like, actually. Why do I have soul food? Why did I not sell that shit? 
This is the only way to make this like fun is by having it at 100% alert. What are you weak to? I imagine. Here's my here's my thing. Here's my take. Here's my take. Probably fucking. Probably no. There we go. If this was my first Persona game, would have dropped the series in disappointment. This was my first Persona game. This was game. my first Persona game. I was like, oh, this is promising. What's the other games like? And I was like, oh, wow, they're like a million times better. How unfortunate I that I got the worst one on my first go. I just never checked out the other ones until 4 got ported. And it was just like off a whim, too. Like, this game almost lost to... Well, Persona 4 almost lost to Nier Automata, <laughs> which was... The switch is weak so far. Truly would have been the choice of all time. Okay. Yep. Persona got. Your power is incredible, Joker. 100%ing the thieves down is probably the most miserable thing anyone could ever do. Like, actually. Show me your true form. I dropped this game on my first playthrough when I got to, um, Madarami. I was like, wow, the first arc was so good, and the second arc was a nothing burger. Speaking of burger, eBay, give me my money so I can get burger please hamburger hamburger i want my fortnite foot sex chungus burger i want my fucking fortnite chungus sex burger Good. human negotiation is probably better than shovel time. Absolutely i just think it's horribly not. i think it's horribly implemented in this game <clears throat> I'm gonna have to disagree with you on this one. Sorry. Right. I think shuffle time's way too easy when, uh... It's easy when it's unbalanced. Like in 4? <laughs> no, like in fucking Reload. Have you seen that shit in Reload? No, I haven't. It's fucking abysmal. Like, I told you, you can get three positive... Okay, at least Persona 4 has, like, the half money, half experience, half... Uh, no money, no experience, no items, like... Uh, or, or, like, end shuffle time cards. Like... Those cards mean that there's like an intricate gameplay loop at hand. The original Persona 3s, there was like, there was like a gameplay mechanic to it. Reload quite literally is, here's only good skill cards. Pick one. I think OG3 had the best variation of shuffle time. Fucking just couldn't break it as hard. Well, original 3 and 4, yeah. But like, I like, I like shuffle time in Persona 4 Golden. It's like, it's probably like one of my favorite parts of the like combat, honestly. You don't get to fail shuffle time and reload. That's exactly my point. Like in Persona, th in, in Persona 4 original, uh, no, in Persona 4 Golden, you may have reason to like look away from the skill cards because like you might get like, you might have just killed like four golden hands. And so you're like, huh, maybe I don't want to like pick up this like 50%. Um, oh my God, that was a loud fucking, that was a loud dialogue line from Madame fucking, don't hit me. 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 Yeah, what was I thinking? It's Persona 5. They don't hit you in the first dungeon. Um, so, fucking... Shut up, Morgana. She's EP. Um, so in Persona 4, like, if you kill four golden hands, and then, like, your shuffle time is, like, half fucking XP, half money, it's like, you have a reason to look away from the skill cards. MP fucking in MP three reload, it's like fucking fuck you, fuck your mom, fuck your dad, fuck everything. Yeah. See what I mean? They just do not go for fucking the protagonist like at all. It's funny. Okay. Looking cool, Joker. Um. I legitimately feel like, outside of the original mantra system, Digital Devil Saga was like the peak of Atlas. 
I got killed. <laughs> Did you just lose in Persona 5? <laughs> I lost in Persona 5 because I got too caught up in the conversation. Got title screened. Damn. Because I'm playing on a merciless mode. By the way, merciless mode is fucking easy in reload too. That's why I think it's ass. You know what else is fucking bull? What? Just everything about Persona 5 fucking sucks. There's a shadow. What do we do? I watch this. I'm just gonna uh, uh, just avoid all these encounters just because like the game just lets you do that. Oh no, it's 100%. I'm walking away from these enemies. I think Fast does a good good job of making you learn the game. I suppose. Uh, I don't know. With the amount of people that don't know how to use fucking tactics in that game, <laughs> I'd say otherwise. I think you could argue that Portable does a good job. Someone said that fucking they're so glad that uh, Reload is made in the image of Fast. I'm like, it's more of a HD version of uh, Portable than it is a HD version of Fast. Considering a lot of the changes in Portable or in Reload than the original stuff in... Uh, than the original stuff that was in Persona 3 Fast. Also, don't you just love how like enemies just fucking spawn in front of you in this game? Hmm. Let me try Bufu. Alright, well I froze anyway. Erm. Um, Garu. Yeah, okay, it's Garu. Oh, no, I just like I just like Persona 4 like to say that like this game is a like to say that like this game is a consistent franchise with consistent like themes or like consistent like whatever like I feel like 3, 4, and 5 are so different games for so different people that like genuinely the expectation of that you will play one of these games and enjoy all of them is kind of like it comes off to me as like a very comes off as a very naive perspective because I think the this game is th these games are very different from each other like Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5 Royal are two very fucking different games like although yeah they have the same formula and story their gameplay so different from each other do you agree? Yeah. What do you mean? Mm, I, yeah. Hold on, give your opinion. I feel like this. I feel like the social aspect is the consistent like thing in these games. I wouldn't even argue really it's consistent connected. either, because like P three social links are fucking shit. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's consistently shit though. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's consistently bad. Let's fuck off. Just because something's like consistent in in one regard doesn't mean that it's consistent in every, in every regard. Like Persona 1 fans, they only like that game because uh, they want to be different. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that game something. Sucks. I was gonna say something, but I've been told that I should, really should not cast. Uh, what stones at P1 fans? Just like people on Twitter and like other content uh, creators. But you know for a fact, if uh, my free speech wasn't silenced by the worries and woes of um, that. Uh, just trust me, I'd be talking mad shit right now. Just, just be vague. How about that? Just go, go vague. There's a certain person it. on Twitter that just fucking absolutely dick rides Persona 1 for no good reason. And has like zero good opinions. And is just a fucking little bitch boy on Twitter. Yeah. I, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. It's not particularly hard <laughs> to fucking put the pieces together, is it? Yeah. It's like, who's the one person on Twitter that's a little fucking bitch that talks about Persona 1 all the time? Hmm. I reckon, I reckon. Am I being filtered by a Persona 5 thing because I can't see because it's just red all over? <laughs> Am I being punished for being colorblind? Yes. Am I actually fucking being filtered by it? Because it's, it's a dark room with black and red. Like, how am I supposed to see anything? It's a fucking virtual boy. <laughs> fucking virtual boy looking ass dungeon. Oh, yeah. 
I think I need to press the fucking whatever. Different gimmicks made you figure it out. What? I think it took me a while to get out of Persona into mainline a bit because I'm stupid. Mainline fans are fucking obnoxious. Um, I don't like SMT. That's my opinion. You played Nocturne and a little bit of four. I think. I haven't I even tried should... four. Oh well, you played a little bit of Nocturne, which is like played five like, hours of Nocturne. Like kind of I think mid-game. I think five hours of any game is a good good enough metric to decide whether or not it's for you. So would you say five hours of Persona Five is enough of a metric for you to be like, oh, this is a series I, I think is good. Yeah, that's like the, that's how long it takes to do the entire Kamoshida arc. Fucking P5. Unless you're fucking stupid and you can't fucking play the game. <laughs> unless unless you're stupid and it takes you like ten hours to do the first arc of the game. In which case, I'm sorry for you being stupid. I guess. But that's more of a you problem than a me problem. I don't know. I, w- I wouldn't. I wouldn't put a lot of. I wouldn't I don't, put a lot behind a Nocturne me, playthrough. Me, I don't like this game. Uh, you should play this other game instead. I don't like this other game. Well, you should play this other game instead. It's like how. At what point can I just say I don't You're, like you something? You played Nocturne, though. Nocturne's like the most like, mid-SMT game. Like A lot of people that like that game are like, what? Fucking people who make wiki pages <laughs> on how much they love Kazuma Kaneko and his fat nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I, I fucking hate Kaneko dick writers. They're so annoying. I don't know who Kaneko is. So. He's the designer of like all the old demons. I don't know. He was like the old series artist for Persona, prior to Sojima. 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 I bet there's a fucking chest, like, around here. Fucking knew it. Oh, well, let me open it, because some dickhead is chasing me. Why is this JRPG a fucking stealth game? Why does this- why does my Japanese role-playing game have stealth? Deus Ex. Huh? I love immersive sims. <laughs> it's not immersive! What what part of sneaking around a fucking castle is immersion? You should play Thief. Thief is awesome. There's like a whole genre of RPGs around still. This game just doesn't do it well. <laughs> I don't fuck with it. It's shitty stealth at that. It's so true. There's literally just like, there's just a hide button. Like if your game just straight up has a hide button, it's like, it's, that's not good stealth. Not good game design. Nothing. Wind. I've bitched about Persona 5 so many times to my friends that they're like, please shut up every time. Every time someone like mentions Persona 5, they're like, oh no, don't. Erm. Erm, that just happened. <laughs> Why not That's that? gonna be the next Persona game's writing. Yeah. He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> I fucking knew you were gonna say that. People are gonna come into my stream and think I'm fucking stupid because I, I'm not like baton passing. I just refuse to. I refuse to gel with a mechanic that like breaks the game. They're trying to put my fucking shit. Like, they're trying to put. They're just ocoing my fucking party members. Like that's skill not that's, first. First, it's not a skill check. Tough it's not hard to. Check. It's, it's not not hard. Or just anything. baton pass. <laughs> yeah, literally. Just the, the the answer to anything in Persona Five is limo baton pass. It's like fucking. How about I like do something else? It's like nope. How about I I invite your mom over for dinner? <laughs> how about I fucking? How about you fuck your mom, you dick? <laughs> I've made a fuck your mom joke like too many times in my videos already. 
I said, pers <laughs> I said Persona 5 without the filler is like fucking your mom. Doing your mom! Actually. Get yourself a woman streamer that threatens to have sex with your mother. What other games do you play? Because I've only seen Crash Bash for seven minutes. Pokemon. Well, in Pokemon, I guess. <laughs> uh, uh, this is Tutorial City. It's not letting me rush or anything. I'm in Tutorial City. I already have... Give me money. Shadow personnel. Whatever. Fucking stop giving me tutorials. Why is there not? Is there? Wait. Am I just complaining for no reason? Hold on. Config. System settings. Wait. Will this turn off? Okay. Let's see if this turns off yapping. Because if it turns off yapping, then that's great. Um. What the scallop? Um. What the sigma? Right. There is no. There is no remove fucking tutorials button. That is minus one point to Persona 5. What are you doing? Isn't there gameplay settings? It might be in gameplay settings. No, I checked. There's At least it's not as bad as fu fucking Xenoblade 2, man. Xenoblade 2 made me want to kill myself. That's like, like the worst this, RPG of all time. See, this is what I mean about like the stopping and starting. Like this is a straight up fucking cutscene with dialogue. It's like d not necessary. Key item and then a tutorial on how to use I it. Be, I used to be super into Sonic as a kid. And then like I grew up and I realized they were bad games. Uh, I like, I like old Sonic. Like, as in, like, um... I like 1, 2, and, like, 3. <laughs> yeah. And I guess, uh... I like 1, 2, Once 3. Once they start going 3D and start speaking, I don't want to, like, hear it anymore. <laughs> um... Do yeah, I... I'll be back. Alright. When it comes to Sonic, for me, I'm, like, the exact same. I only like the 2D ones. Oh my god, it removed the yapping. Oh my god, we removed the yapping. Okay, we found a way to remove yapping, guys. Sonic is like good sloth. Mm. I don't know about that one. Even some of the new games are pretty decent. Uh, I refunded Frontiers because it didn't... Like, it... You couldn't read the dial. You couldn't read the text at all, like the menus it, on the Steam Deck. So I didn't uh, bother. I need a key. Book. You can't read text on Steam Deck. It's like it doesn't format to the screen, like in a way that makes the text readable. It like becomes super low resolution and like not like fun to read. Not that it's fun to read. I'm just saying like it doesn't. It's not easy to like read the text, and so I was like, "Fuck this." You're weak to fire or wind, maybe. I think maybe wind or fire. That's no, fire. But you're dead already.
Fuck. Uh, I'm just gonna block. Is it really fire? Guess it is fire. Persona! It deserves praise. Eh, well. Like, I didn't play it, so whatever. I don't really like 3D Sonic games anyway. I love when enemies spawn right fucking in front of me. That's so fair. This fucking ass fucking game, bruh. Alright, cool. You're gonna give Tarakaja to an enemy that can one-shot me. Awesome. Love that for me. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you're just gonna kill on. That's fine. Oh my god, I did the fucking wrong enemies. Alright, now Morgana's dead. Whatever. Shoot, 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 shoot. Morgan is dead. Alright, you're dead. And I should just be able to... Yeah, let me your power. Alright, I'm gonna use a- I'm gonna pop a Goho M. Uh, items... Perm. Fucking Ryuji. What the fuck? Fucking Ryuji. Do I not have any Goho M's? Alright, my dumbass doesn't have any fucking Goho M's. So... This is what we will be doing instead. They fixed the ending if you heard about it, the final, but I don't know nothing about Sonic Frontiers. Um, Sonic's kind of poopy. You're a poopy head. That's right, I said it. You're a poopy head. Uh, fused by result. What level am I? Seven? Um, Bufu. Yes. With Tarakaja. Yes. Fuse. Orpheus. Morpheus, Orpheus, Bubba Walruses. You'll need Goho M's in this game. True, but I would just like to fucking get just yeeted out of the dungeon whenever I feel like it. IDK, that would be kind of nice. Mondrake. Um. Well, I got my fucking Bufu persona, so that's all I really give a shit about. Now I have something with a Bufu skill. Yeah, you don't need Goholams in this game. You don't, but I'd appreciate it regardless. Like, sorry for your fucking wanting to just, like, get yeeted out of a dungeon and not having to go to a fucking bullshit for it. This is so stupid of a mechanic! <laughs> Why is there what stealth is? in this game? Uh, they kind of just give up on it by the end, too. Yeah, fucking dumb. I'm not baton passing. Stop trying to get me to do it. I don't have- yeah, I do have an Augie persona. Get fucked. You wanna know what this is? This is how you fucking play a persona game, buddy. Don't need none of that fucking- Don't need none of that fucking baton pass bullshit. Can you beat Persona 5 Royal without baton passing? The answer, very easily, yes. I turned off the voices to reduce the yapping, and it has actually increased my enjoyment of this game by, like, a lot. Yapping yeah, behind Why the fuck do I kill an enemy and another enemy spawns right in front of me and spots me? How is that fair? Under what circumstance is that fair? Why did they change it to Jack-O-Lantern? Because, um... Uh, 
Oh, okay, I got one shot. <laughs> Is it always been Jack O' Lantern? No, it's not. It's Pyro Jack. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just got one shot for some reason. I don't know what I I don't know what I did wrong, but I didn't save in like a hot minute. I think Jack O' Lantern works better. <laughs> I like Pyro Jack. I don't know why they called him Black Frost instead of Black Jack, because Black Jack's actually like a card game. That's true. I have been yeeted back all the way back here. Awesome. Crack Frost. <laughs> Crack Frost. Um, Morgan, heal me. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do the fucking stealth thing, but yeah, sure. I guess I'll fucking fly this enemy. You had Pyro Jack at level two. Well, yeah, but I I didn't fucking I didn't I didn't think that the game would spawn a fucking enemy right in front of me and it, the enemy instantly spots me and goes after me. That's not that's that's what we call a load of bullshit. This is why this game's not good and it's not well balanced and it's just a load of fucking shit. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna put stealth in our JRPG. It's gonna be awesome. It's like, it's just not. It's just a shit mechanic. All right, Kate Sith, you're weak to Garu. All right, I need to use fucking air cannon in order for you to actually live because fucking merciless mode is stupid. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna pee. And dating is not important. There we go. Wow, that was so much more innovative than shuffle time, right, gamers? Right, gamers? That was so worth my fucking time. Kind of too hard. I wish they would. There's a lot of like really cool stuff from other games. I wish they implemented it into the negotiations. Like, why the game. fuck did this thing just spawn in front of me? Why did that just happen? Can I get an explanation? I'm what happened. Give it a moment. Oh. <laughs> you see what I fucking mean? This game is fucking garbage. I think that only happens at red alert. The stealth in this game is shit anyway. To say that it's like a fault of me like running into enemies or whatever, it's like, fuck off. Like to say, to say that like th like I should be punished for like whatever and it's like yeah one hit me, Dorama me, and then next turn you're gonna fucking Oko me. But guess what? I'm gonna Oko you because this is merciless mode. I'm gonna switch to hard. I'm gonna switch to hard. Not because the game's too hard. Not because the game's too hard, but it's because it's too easy. This game actually fucking sucks. I don't think this has ever happened to me once. It's happened to me two fucking times in a row. Actual fucking bullshit. Fucking shut up. Oh my fucking goodness. Why the fuck do they f yap about fucking everything? It's like, yeah, instead of just letting me do it, it's like, yep, yeah, this is the this is the thing that just happened, and oh, here's the cutscene to show you it, and here's the cutscene of the fucking room, and here's the enemy in the next area. It's like, let me figure this shit out on my fucking own game. <laughs> am I like am I stupid or something? Why do people enjoy this fucking game? Sleep, why do people like this game? Cause there's a lot of charm to it. No it doesn't. Yes it does. The characters are ass. The fucking gameplay is ass. Fuck every visual style is like been attempt like people have attempted to replicate this in so many games at this point and have failed. Yeah, but like fucking whatever and i mean the music's like pretty good when you haven't heard it like for like 10 years that's so true that i will give you the I music is pretty all right track for the first time and thinking it was pretty good but yeah like now that i've heard it in every fucking video essay is yeah like video ass ass after oversaturation 
Final Fantasy seven, 7 is better than this? What, like no. Rebirth or like the original? No, it just isn't. <laughs> well, I'd argue that it is because Final Fantasy 7 has cross-dressing, even though I've not played it. And trust me, I can get like way more like extrinsic value. Like I only started playing Genshin Impact because they put fucking like, um, like, this is like, what, three years ago? Three years ago, uh, they put fucking, uh, you know, the Femboy Venti? No. The, okay, so Genshin Impact has this like really like fuckable femboy in the uh, uh in like the main story of the game really original. early. On. It most definitely isn't better than this. I'm sorry, FF7 original is a fucking chore to play through. I don't know anything about it, so I can't comment. Anyway, anyone who says otherwise is just nostalgia boy. Google Google Venti like as in like the you know like the size that you get a Starbucks. Uh, Genshin Impact. Um. And look at how fucking fuckable he is. Oh. Uh, yeah. I've seen this character. Yeah. Um, so I started playing the game because of that. Your brain is actually, like, gooner-brained. It's not- I'm not gooner-brained, I just, like, I like traps. <laughs> I just like traps and fanboys, what can I say? At least I'm- <laughs> at least I'm consistent. <laughs> oh, it's Tutorial City. It's Anyway, yeah, so I started playing that game because all my like a lot of my friends are playing it and like like I was like, okay, whatever, I'll I'll play the game because you can you could uh, get them through the through the gotcha. You don't have to necessarily pay money for like the gotcha. You all you have to do is like all you have to do is just play the game. And so I played the game, but like the game is like really bad. It's just like headless chick in the video game where you just like walk around and press one button and like kill the same enemies over and over and over again and the worst part is is that i found out that the main story of the game isn't even finished and like even to this day the main story of the of genshin impact is still not finished mmos suck dick so i'll just never get it's not an game. mmo it's an online oh, yeah, game like a, only that has like an co-op. MMO gotcha bullshit. It's just not even like the the thing is is that it's not even it is not even an MMO. It, it has four player co-op and said four player co-op can only be people within your region and you and like you, you can't do like story missions or something and it's it's like the most like it's the most non-co-op thing that's in, like that's classified as co-op. It's fucking stupid bullshit and so i whatever i played it and it was ass and i then i like then i used all of the like points that i'd saved up and i tried getting the femboy and i didn't get the femboy and so i dropped the game and that's my story of genshin impact you started playing genshin because of nt yes and then i learned about how shitty the gameplay is and then I didn't even get my femboy, and so I just stopped playing the game. Because I couldn't pronounce any of the fucking characters' names, and like, there's, just, there's, no, there's no gameplay. It is just wandering around a, an open world. It's like Breath of the Wild without any of the charm. And I'd even argue that Breath of the Wild isn't even a fucking good game. So, there you go. There's my opinions and take on that. Genshin Impact's more like fucking gay shit, no fucking gameplay. Gameplay, where is it? <laughs> Genshin Impact, no gameplay, where is it? Like, nothing burger gameplay, nothing burger fucking everything, dude. Fuck off, dude. I stepped out of the fucking room and immediately I, I spotted her. Like three weeks, I was playing Overwatch and I wanted to like kill myself. That was like the lowest I felt in the past couple of years. It's a Breath of the Wild ripoff. What do you expect? Fucking so many people love Genshin. I don't know why. Is is it just like? Is it really just like a gamble? It's just a gambling addiction. Yeah, it it's literally like, is. It's like yeah. Why do you like Genshin Impact? Oh, I have a gambling addiction. It's like oh okay. Fair enough. Like if that's if that's just it, then that's it, right? Like I can't be mad at people for having a gambling addiction. That's just them, right? 
right? Like, I can't be mad. Anyways. Do you know Reload has over, uh, over OGP3? What? Half its cast isn't actually ass voice-wise. <laughs> like, Shuji, uh, whatever the fucking dude's name is, the, the chairman dude, he was actually horribly voice acted in the original. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't think you're, something that, something that people are missing is that, like, I, ooh, god, ooh. Uh, anyway, um, so something about, um, fucking Reload is, like, literally, I could not, I could not stand the English voice acting. I like Genshin. In the new one? But I know it has problems with the gacha being so many hungry, it's ridiculous, I dropped it a few months ago. People who <laughs> try to get you into Genshin Impact, it's like grooming. Yeah. Well, same thing with, like, Overwatch, like, you... Anyone that like recommends like their friend, like Overwatch or Genshin or any of these fucking games is like it's like recommending your friend like meth. Like why would you do that to <laughs> it's your like homies? Recommending your friend hard drugs. That's fucking <laughs> like, why funny. Why would you do that? It's awful. It's like that's your problem, dude. That's fucking your problem, man. And like another thing as well is that like there's a lot of pedophiles in the Genshin Impact community. And I don't mean to say this. Yeah. I don't. I don't mean to say that in like a. Oh, it's an anime game, and so pedophiles play it because like people say that about Persona. What I mean is that there's like actual lolly characters that when you like climb up like mountains and shit, because that, that's like a gameplay mechanic, right? Um, like it. You can hear them like groaning and moaning, and they're they're, they're like canonically children. And like they're like tiny little fucking Wally characters, and they're going, eh, 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 eh. and it's like, am I really supposed to like pretend like this is like okay to like content to consume? Because I don't feel comfortable like playing this game with this kind of content, like at all, right? Yeah. I don't know. Am I like? Am I weird? Don't pay too much attention to the voice direction in games. I want to fit the situation up. I mean, these are fucking anime games, so, like, just playing them in Japanese is probably the best thing to do anyway. I... I don't know about that. What do you mean? I don't play a lot of these games in, like, sub. <laughs> I, I did reload because the new voice actors are fucking trash. I disagree with you heavily. I think the new voice actors are great. No, I, I, cannot, I cannot fucking imagine anyone other than fucking Yukari's original voice actor to do the fucking... Like dialogue lines that she does. I think it's an insult to the original cast to just be like, yeah, the new ones are good. It's like, nah. I mean, the original cast has some pretty shitty people in it, so it's like, they could. Eat it, it has like <laughs> one bad person. Uh, like two. T two? Well, who's the other person? Well, there's Vic, and then there's, uh, what's her name? I guess? Yeah. What she do? Or like she supported NFTs once or something? She was like an anti-vaxxer. She's done a lot of weird shit over the past couple of years. You know what I say? Hmm. I don't care about the real people. I only care about the fictional people that they play. Yeah. I think caring about like. The, I, yeah, the new, the only one I feel kind of iffy on is Akiko's new voice. It's like a little too deep. You know, I can't fuck with this Aki Yuko. Ken rubs me the wrong way, and sometimes in real- Ken in Reload just sounds like a woman. I think Ken's original voice actor was trash. I think so Ken's like... original voice actor is funny as fuck, because he's just constantly whispering. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, it's fine. I got- I got three free sprays. I should be able to- I should be able to win this fight. I can smell weed really strong. <laughs> I got neighbors that are a little kooky. Right, I'm gonna do the cardinal sin of baton passing, cause uh, I'm very confident my protagonist is gonna die if I don't. So I'm just gonna quickly switch. All right, sick. Yeah, no, I like Ken's old voice actor because he's just constantly whispering. I think that's funny. 
The fucking, the fucking Cuban sandwich meme. I want a fucking persona sandwich. That was funny as hell. Alright, this guy's weak to fire. Holy shit, it's insane how turning the voices off is like making this game so much better. The color red is so fucking prevalent in this game. Yeah, this game has this thing, it's called um, it being in love with itself. This game is far too self-indulgent in its own like themes and whatever and characters. Adult bad. Adult bad. Adult bad, everybody. Adult bad. At least Persona 4, it's like cops are useless, which is like true. <laughs> Did I accidentally get political? Did I accidentally just get political? <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> what? The police are my bitches. The police are my bitches. Like, at least Pers like, Persona 4 at least speaks truth. Police are fucking sometimes. useless. Sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? No. I don't know. Look, I'd be chill with Kanji being in the same tent as me. As the same what? I'd be chill with Kanji being in the same tent as me. I fucking bet you would. What are you saying? I'm saying <laughs> you're a little bit, um... Look, all I'm saying <laughs> is like, look, I wouldn't be- I wouldn't feel safe in the same tent as you. Oh. Okay. Fucking Mr. Sleep Live, that's your real name. John Sleep Alive. Is your real name John? No. Okay, good. That'd be, That'd be unfortunate. Another John in the fun. Yeah. In the, in the other in, in the fucking community, another John. Yeah. I'm like evil John. Are you actually like fucking? My name is not John. <laughs> you keep saying that your name's John. Or maybe it is. The pe the people who don't like four. I'm convinced can't accept the truth as is. Well, I mean, the, all they do in that game is reach out to the truth. So to deny the truth is like, not the, you're you're like ignoring the whole point of the game. Adachi, huh? Adachi, fucking I, that was the biggest mishear I've ever heard. I'm so glad that you reiterated. Um, anyways, so Persona Three is okay, like the originals, like. Three, like fast three, just mid. Three, three and portable three. are good. Like they're good. They're not like amazing, but like, the, like to me personally, this is my personal taste, personal preference, personal opinion. Uh, three is okay. I like its soundtrack. I like some of the messages it gives. I like its some of its themes. I think it's a pretty competent game. I think it does what it does well. Um, Persona 4 is the best game in the franchise. It has the perfect mix of, it has the perfect mix of anime as fuck, whilst also being. I think 4 is the most consistent. For me. I think it has like the most like, consistent gameplay. Its story is pretty good. Mhm. Mm its music's pretty good. Like nothing about it's like inherently like bad. The other games is like stuff that they do like exceptionally well. And then they have other shit they do like horribly. Female students is the queen book. And then the like the moment they make two have good gameplay is the moment I switch up. <laughs> yeah, slave book, right? Am I missing a book? Oh, ah, yeah, there's one right here. The king book. All right, so the beefcake book and the fucking king book. Oh my god, it's gonna make me do it all over again. Fucking Persona 5, am I right, everybody? 3 and 4 are very on par for me overall, then 5 just points the fuck out of me. 5 is just like fucking mid Midsona. I feel like 3 was just the game I was just ah eh towards. Especially like when I first played through it, I was like, this game kind of is just happening. And then at the end, I was like, oh, okay, I kind of get it. <laughs> what did you, have you played the answer? Yeah, I played the answer. I made a video on the answer. That was like one of my first videos. What do you think? It sucks. Uh, 
Wow, I love it when games make my controller vibrate for no no reason. It's my favorite. Oh, it's Tutorial City once again. Awesome. Yep. Thanks, game, for not letting me play you. I played through a... I remember playing through Innocent Sin for the first time, and I was like, wow. And that was it. <laughs> that game plays really rough in that game. It just... It needs, like, streamlining, and then it'll be, like, good. It also, it doesn't take advantage of like a really good cast of voice actors. Like they'll only have voice acting during like specific boss fights. I wonder if I can get the original Yukari voice actor to say the line. The, the, the homophobia line? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I also wanted to say half fucking virgin as well. Ah, I liked when a uh, reload was being released. There was like a a meme going around where <laughs> it'd be Hardy saying like the first half of that line, and then like a QTE would come in. Yeah, and she'd say, there's like, like a, a Sonic version. Unleashed one. There's a coin flip one. Um, and that's it's a good meme. Truly, it's funny because like. It's funny to think that, like, one of the most funniest or, like, most, like, known Persona memes is, like, one that has a slur in it considering how, like, uh, how do I say this without offending people? Uh, the Persona fans are gay as fuck. <laughs> Persona fans are, like, the most LGBTQ plus filled community I've, I've ever had the pleasure of, uh, interacting with and so it's just it rings funny to me that like one of the most popular memes is one that includes uh slurs <laughs> you know yeah people who play fast I'm, with I'm not party member control are cowards that's true I'm not excited for a horror remake. Like, the amount of annoying discourse that's gonna happen. A what up remake? To that if they remake 4, like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the fucking people who think that Persona 4 is, like, the, the the person that made the fucking Persona 4 is about being yourself unless you're gay, blah, 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 blah. It's like, fucking play the game. What was that person who... I'm trying to remember, there was a YouTuber that was pretty big that also made like a really dumbass tweet about like kanji. It, oh, it was um Snapcube, Snap there you go. Sorry. Yeah. The Sonic dub people. Yeah. <sighs> people that's content relies on quite literally just ad living over cutscenes. What great content. What amazing content. Like, whatever, like, their videos are funny and they're quotable, but, like... No. Kanji's... Like, the whole point of Kanji's character is that his sexuality doesn't define him. Same with, like, Naoto, is like... If you played the game... Yeah, the, they're, they're, like, shit about Naoto. I just... Naoto's I trans discourse Naoto makes discussions. me... Naoto's trans discourse makes me want to fucking Persona 3 myself, because, like, the thing is... Is that, like, all you need to do is play the fucking game. All you need to do, my brother in Christ, play the fucking game. Uh, all that's, all, that's all I ask of I you. I mean, I, gu I guess that is these, like, redubbers' jobs to fucking not understand the context. Yeah, of course. Of the shit that they're reading. <laughs> fucking <laughs> redubbers when, like, instead of, like, listening to voice acting or whatever, they just fucking make their own shit up because they can't be bothered reading or listening to what the original game actually has to say. See what I mean? Start and stop, start and stop cutscene. There's a... God, I'm gonna bitch about Xenoblade 2 for a sec because that game is like actually the worst game ever. Um, well, at so many points, the game will gatekeep you for not having the right gotcha from like progressing in the main plot. What the game's oh, also, around gotcha mechanics? Yeah, it has a gotcha mechanic in a single player game Bullshit. that you don't spend money on. And it's like the most obnoxious, like 
grindy bullshit. The tweet, uh, Dragon Royale, it's, um, it's fucking, so you know the people that made the Sonic dub thing? They made a tweet about how Kanji is gay and if you disagree then you're homophobic. Or something on the lines of that, don't quote me on that. Hey, let me find this snap you tweet, because I do want to want to find this shit. <laughs> Snap keep is missing the point of Kanji's arc in Persona 4 Golden was a competition. <laughs> Playing Xenoblade 3 currently is pretty good. Just yeah, what heavy. the fuck is so like... Hmm? Oh my god. What? What did she like interpret from this? This sucks, Lamo. When you want to headcanon a character as gay, and then they turn turns out that they're not gay, and so like you hate the fact of that they're not gay. It's like people being mad at Bayonetta for canonically fucking a dude and having a kid. It's like, why would you be mad at that? What's wrong with you? Like, actually, if I w I actually got so tilted. Like the towers. Yeah, like the towers. Are we dropping? Don't really care what Kanji's sexuality is. I like him as a character without doing a social link. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point. That dead ass. That is the whole fucking point. It's almost like they can't accept the truth, yeah. Unlike Kanji, who very much so accepted the truth of that he's not gay or straight, he's bisexual. And the funniest part is, is that Kanji, throughout the entirety of Persona 4, is in love with Naoto. Whether Naoto is perceived as a boy or as a girl, Kanji likes Naoto. And so, to insinuate that Kanji is anything other than, like, bi, or like whatever is just like ridiculous. Oh god, Snap you'd played reload? Of course they did. Right. And what did they idea. think of reload? I bet they're like, oh it's no pure pick fiction. Oh. No clue. This game fucking blows. This game blows, reload blows, fucking Atlas cannot make a good game anymore. Fucking minging. It is. It is fucking minging. This Calypso is fucking minging. Sucky dad. dad. What's the Gilsey wit do in comparison to what she currently has? I don't know. Burn chance is better. I like proccing burn it funny. Morgan, heal yourself. What do you think of people that think that their head cannon should be like actual cannon? They're annoying. Yup. <laughs> At least when I put, like, at least when I make characters gay with each other, like, I fucking... I think Private does what I think is the best representation going on through Channel 4 I've ever seen. Yeah, but he does it in, like, the most fucking annoying way possible by making, like, fucking 20-hour-long video about fucking Persona 4. <laughs> Nom's video is probably the best Persona 4 video on the internet. It's my favorite video on the internet, anyway. My favorite, the video that got, really got me into like doing analysis content on like specifically Persona was a uh, Liam Triforce's video. Who the fuck is that? He's a, he just does, he does like similar stuff to Nam. Yeah. Yeah. Can you put paper towels and in, um, into an air fryer? <laughs> me? No, can, like I'm asking, can, is that something that you can do? Uh, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Well, cause I need like, cause like grease is really annoying. Like, you know, when you cook something in an air fryer. Oh, you mean like clean it with what? paper towels? No, like put it in there while it's like cooking so it catches the grease. Uh, 
Airflow is essential to the machine, and while a paper towel is useful for cleaning, it should not be used while cooking food in the air fryer. Alright, thanks for that Google search for me. Because, like, I really want to, I'd really like to make, like, a high-protein chicken meal right now, but at the same time, really cannot be bothered with cleaning up after myself. What's the, I remember, like, a couple, uh, like, months ago, there was, like, a whole discourse around, like, Samus being trans, because... There, some like Japanese developer who worked only on Super Metroid made a joke in the 90s. <laughs> what, I, was the like, I truly love Twitter discourse. <laughs> what would they say that the fucking Samus is a gawk? It, yeah, it was some shit like that. Mm. I was like, why are you guys like. Actually, so annoying. Most fucking annoying people on the planet are people that fucking. are a part of a fan base and they've never played the game once. You know, it's funny that meme that meme was like circulating when I was uh, watching fucking I was watching uh... Oh shit, I need to fuck I forgot what I need to do here Whatever it doesn't matter um Oh, no, wait, no, there's something on the first floor. Uh, anyway, so I was watching Attack on Titan, and there's a character called Piek Finger. For the later seasons, and it was, like, funny, because... She literally is kid named Finger. Lol, laugh. The bull seed is outside. I know where the will seed is. I just forgot where to get the gears, but I remember now. I'm gonna save here. Anyway, yeah, no, fucking Persona 5 Dungeons Design Bad. And also, um... I disagree with you on that. I like the Dungeon Design. I don't game. like it because it's shitty on a repeat playthrough. I can forever... I can forever replay Persona 4 because dungeons are different every single time. Although, yes, they have puzzle floors or whatever. That's, like, one floor in, like, a, in a 12-floor dungeon. And, like, it's more of a fight to the top than it is, like, a... Explore new like puzzles. Nautos. Yeah, Nautos is alright like... with like the backtracking and stuff. It's cool. Yeah, the backtracking. I don't really like it. I, li I like whatever. Like I think it's cool. Uh, this is the Mara fight. It's weak to Garu. I need to fucking penis, penis, penis. Yeah. I don't know why they keep using this like weird like sludge Mara design. It's only like plot wise like it only plot wise makes sense in Nocturne. How? Well, I don't get it. Uh, so in Nocturne, there's a part where two demons try to fuse themselves in Amara, and they fuck up, and they make this like slow, like sludge Mara. Right. And so, like, anytime he just shows up in another game, it's like, why? <laughs> Done. Penis. Penis. I was on my bullshit about something. Oh yeah, fucking P5 dungeons are the same every time. Have stealth. It's fucking shit. I just don't like uh, randomly generated dungeons. I love much. randomly generated dungeons, and that's where we disagree. And that's a totally fair take, because, you know, sometimes some people appreciate, like, meticulously designed set pieces, while some people like randomly generating stuff that's different every single time. Because they have autism and remember everything. And so when enemies and gameplay is just random, you can never predict it. And thus the autism means that you can never like learn it to a T. And then it doesn't become like second nature to you to navigate through Kamashita's palace for the 20th time. And that's my reason as to why autistic people fucking hate Persona 5. I'm autistic people. I'm also autistic people. Different kinds of autisms. Can we talk about the Temple of the Ocean King, the Phantom Hourglass? It's a, it's a dungeon in a game that I have not played. <laughs> I've only played Majora's Mask and Ocarina like of Time, and I did not like Ocarina of Time, but I really like Majora's. 
I really like uh, games with open like dungeon design. Like a lot of stuff like Deus Ex has opened my eyes to emergent game gameplay in that way. Like I think a uh, next Persona game, you should be able to like stack boxes and skip areas if you want to. Stack what? Stack like boxes and shit. <laughs> what do you mean boxes? Like. You know how in like a lot of sandbox games, like I don't know, like Half Life, you kind of just like skip areas if you're smart enough. Yeah. Like I think that should should be in a lot more games like these. Like why? I don't know. It'd be fun. Would it? Yeah. The whole adult timeline. That that brings me to like the whole adult like stuff with Persona fans. I think, I think we should just have a Persona game that isn't set in like school. I think there would be some like really interesting stuff done with like I don't know like a game where it's focused on like a group of detectives or something. Here's my here's my thing. Um, hmm. Persona is a Japanese game meant for Japanese people, and so like Japanese people see school as like the best time of their lives, and then they go to college, and then their life becomes miserable. I'm saying like go like wacky with it though. I'd love to see like an X Files kind of like Persona game. Then just play fucking Raido Kazunaha. No, Raido sucks. Raido is that is not the you same kind of game. You, you literally was like, I would like to play as a detective as a detective in a Persona game. There you go. I think Persona with its social systems and such would be implemented super well in a game about like adult like detectives going around and doing shit that's a different game entirely dude persona persona's identity isn't school though sorry <laughs> persona's identity literally is like teenager wakes up and kills god that is it isn't it isn't that is the identity of persona persona 2 didn't play take place in high school true persona 2 isn't a part of the fucking calendar system it is. games they're not a part of the calendar. Well, it's part of the games. franchise. Sure, it's, it's part, part of the, of the franchise. franchise. Shin Megami Tensei is a part of the franchise. Don't see me fucking being no, like... No, different franchise. <laughs> nah, uh Uh-huh. Made by the same people. So? Is, uh, fucking... Is Catherine part of this franchise? Yeah. Li is Vincent is literally in Persona 3 Portable. And is, uh... I don't know what other shit Atlas games do they have. Is Dark Souls part of? They published the first uh, Dark Souls game. Did they? Yeah. That's funner. Oh, this enemy's weak to gun, right? Yeah. Um, do I have you already? All right, you're an angel. I'll take responsibility. And no strings attached. All right, cool. Demon negotiation is a fucking pointless mechanic. It sucks. It's cool, but it's, it's just horribly implemented in this game. It's fucking awful. I've never played an SMT game. This is my only, this is my only ever fucking thing of demon negotiation. It fucking sucks. Thus, the mechanic sucks. <laughs> no. Damn, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean for this this stream to be a wind stream, but it's turned into that, hasn't it? Jesse Winge is about fucking everything Persona Five because the game fucking blows. I wish New Game Plus would get rid of the fucking tutorials in these games. I wish you could just turn off the tutorials, like, completely. Yeah. I wish they just made Persona 4 again, and again, and again. The only hard part about this dungeon is fusing a persona that knows ice to do with these heavy fucking these savage enemies. That's the hardest part. Just play DDS, guys. I'm gonna DDS pill your chat. Uh, I don't think you can do that. Why? I think Why? It, isn't it like illegal to indoctrinate people on YouTube? Yes. Isn't that against TOS? <laughs> 
got to let it do, it. do that on here, though, sadly. Go play the, the hit game Digital Devil Saga. I wish I had fun playing 5. Yeah, me too. You think I want to be playing a game that I don't like? No. Alright, this guy's fucking dead. We're done here. Yeah, victory! Woo, I leveled up. Look, I could do the voice. I did the voice acting for Persona 5, can you tell? <laughs> Looking cool, Joker. I fucking hate that line so much. Why the fuck is that a thing that, like, they say every time you get a one more? Who in their right mind thought, yeah, you know what? We're gonna have our characters fucking. We're gonna have this gameplay system where the integral part is hitting weaknesses, and every single time, this fucking stupid, annoying piece of shit mascot character says looking cool joker every single time you fucking do it it's the most frustrating shit ever just remake two okay i'm d i'm done with like this bullshit with these modern games just remake two just fucking remake four again i don't want four again four is already good four is already good but like it could be like a little bit like what well, all they're gonna do is add a fucking like they're gonna just add thirgy again to four. They better not. They're gonna put on their glasses. They're gonna get to the point where they get their fucking their goggles and they're gonna be like, I can see all their weaknesses, or I can see what they're weak to. Here, you get instant crits on everything now, or some bullshit. Oh no. Tell me I'm wrong. Teddy's gonna like give you some like a bullshit glass upgrade. Yeah. No, I can see it happening. That's the worst part. You can so see it happening. And remake a game that has like bad gameplay, but like the peak story. Fuck it. Wait, are you saying that P4 has bad gameplay? No, I'm I'm saying P2 has just peak story. Oh, uh, okay. I was about to say that was fucking incorrect, Buster. P4 is already like fine. It's a it's a perfectly fine game. P4 is a game. perfectly There's... fine game. I just want more of it. Like make another pick, make Persona Five Arena and have the P Four cast and Nanako the, the lacrosse player in it. You can even put the P Three cast and bring back Mikasa if you really want to. Please don't fuck over. Please don't fuck four over. It's my favorite game ever. They're gonna. They're gonna ruin your game. Favorite game. They're gonna ruin they're gonna your make, favorite game. They're gonna make. They're not gonna put Marie in the base game because they're lazy and they're <laughs> gonna put her dungeon behind DLC. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna make Kanji gay and Nasa trans. It's gonna be the worst. They're gonna have the Yosuke gay route, but he's gonna be voiced by someone who does it terribly. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking voiced by not Yuri Lowenthal. Even though they so have Yuri Lowenthal money, they chose to not do it. Nanako's gonna sound like a 30 year old woman. <laughs> fucking the idea of the Persona 4 could be anything other than Peak. It's just unfortunate, like. Adachi's gonna have all like semblance of Adachi's gonna have like, a twenty part long social link and one of them you like you, like there's like five sections dedicated to just cooking cabbage together. <laughs> they're gonna get really into they're gonna remove every time that like Yosuke's mean to Kanji. Yeah, they'll get rid of all the homophobia, even though it's not homophobia, it's like projection. And like if they fucking stuck to their like guns about like if they stuck to their guns about making Yosuke actually gay, like they did in the anime, like, you know it'd be nice if they just fucking got rid of all this, like, social sim elements, just made it, like, the anime. Just, like, literally just cut in the anime. They're gonna get rid of all the... They're gonna just gonna make shit really annoying. They're gonna have, like, dumb cooking segments with characters. They're gonna have, like... They're gonna... Ugh, God, they're gonna add so much stupid bullshit to the game. <laughs> They're gonna make you have to play like a fucking mini game every time you go to the beef bowl shop. <laughs> Your quick time event. You have to like spam X or else you don't get enough points. <laughs> it's it's like a it's like a mashing thing that gets easy. Oh my god, that would be awful. I don't know if you knew this, but I have motor I have like motor issues in my hands. I, so I get I can't mash buttons. That's why I can't. Spin. Oh, I have I have a video for you. I got skill check like back in the day by. Uh, P4's like fishing mini game because I didn't understand how it worked because I skipped the tutorial. Oh, you fucking idiot! And let me see if I can find it. I was so mad about it. 
That's your own I fault for being like stupid, though. That's nothing to do. I realized really like thirty minutes into it, you can use the analog analog stick because I was just trying to spam X. Bro, you're fucking stupid. Like actually. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you just you just say it as if I, I said like just like like yeah I'm stupid lol. <laughs> lol guy, you got me. You got me. I'm fucking stupid. They're gonna have gay flags everywhere in the sauna. They're gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir. Would you like some pronouns? They're beef ball. <laughs> it's funny. They're gonna add a thing that says a they're trans add some, like, I'm trans I'm, guys. They're gonna add the beef girl. Oh, on yeah. the beef ball girl from. Yeah, from the show. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's the character in the game. Like, you can't actually find her. Well, yeah, but they're gonna make. They're gonna, like, fully. They're gonna make her a role. They're gonna give her a social She's link, gonna have a yeah. social link. They're gonna give her a whole new arc. Of me first five minutes of KH1. I gave up on KH1 because I got lost in that one town with that Kingdom really Hearts. fucking. That really fucking annoying place. What's it called? Where you're like looking for. You're like looking for someone. And like every two seconds, like enemies that you've already fought you just keep respawning over and over and over again. And this fucking really annoying song is playing. And it's like. It's like a desert town or something. And it's just the fucking most annoying thing I've ever dealt with in my entire life. They're also, also guys, they're gonna get rid of all the TV theming within the UI of P4. They're just gonna make it look like P5. <sighs> it's as if they're scared of making something not Persona 5. Like Persona 5 I did, don't know. did good. I have a feeling this company actually had like an aneurysm when they saw like how well the, this game did. They got bought like they by Sega. This is probably they Sega. It's probably Sega making all the decisions, honestly. I don't believe Atlas has any creative control anymore. What did you think of Tactico? I didn't play it. I really I enjoyed like the DLC. RPGs. I like played the DLC in its complete in its entirety and I thought it was really good and I played the main game and I was like, wow the DLC is so much better. I low-key like Strikers more than P5. I really don't like Strikers, because I really don't like Dynasty Warriors gameplay. I think it's lazy and boring. Damn. Yeah. I think Hyrule Warriors is stupid. I think the fucking Fire Emblem, what's the Fire Emblem one called? I didn't play him, because uh, I don't like bad series. Like Fire I don't want to touch Tactica. No, Tactica's like actually, like the DLC is really fun. If they saw, I really wish they sold the DLC expansion on its own. as like a taste of Tactica. Cause it's it's own like self self like included story with like unique game mechanics that aren't seen within the like actual game. So like, I think it's pretty fair game to like put um, tactic like put like the DLC just on its own. Cause I think it's good enough and it stands on its own. Fucking re-release DDS to the modern audience, Atlas, you cowards. I think you have a higher chance of a PT remake, like unironically. Well, I think a P2 remake's already happening. I think, like, it's just happening at this point. I don't know. We'll see. I think I think any P1 fan who's coping over a remake would be like, oh, they're gonna get rid of all the, like, style and shit. Shut up. Your game's already a tonal mess. It's awful. Its characters get forgotten about, like, halfway through. It's, it's racist. Its dungeons are the worst. It's racist. It <laughs> it's racist. You, like, you don't it's... even laugh. It's just racist. <laughs> Your game is racist. Persona game. 1 fans, your game is racist. Your game's atrocious. The PSP soundtrack's better. You guys are like, oh, we got rid of the, the atmosphere and stuff. School there was days. no atmosphere. Your game is already a fucking tonal mess. School Days washes anything on the <laughs> School Days, Maki. Uh, what else is there? The Lone Prayer. Dream of Butterfly, whatever the fuck the song's called. The like opening song. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, dun. washes anything on dun, that original dun, dun, soundtrack. Dun, 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 you ain't P2. Dun, 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 You're not Persona dun, dun. 2. <laughs> boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom, Do you know why people like Nanji? Probably because he became a character in P2. All your good characters, they, they exist in a much better game. Persona 2 is uh, homophobic. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it is. The world no. where Tatsuya has a homosexual relationship is the one where the world fucking ends. Yeah. Yeah. Homophobia. Persona 1 was racist, what they do. Persona 1 is racist. Persona 2 is homophobic. Persona 3 is fucking... 
depressing. Persona 4 is homophobic. Persona 5 is just all 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 around. Actually, bad. no. Persona 2 is transphobic. There's like a scene where Baofu like is just an asshole. Oh yeah, Persona Persona because... no, Persona 2 is transpho uh, Persona 2 is homophobic. Persona 3 is transphobic. Persona 4 is homophobic. Persona 5 is also homophobic. And uh what else does it do? So it's homophobic because of the fucking one scene the fucking guys. There's no transphobia in P5, which is kind of sick. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not gonna elaborate on why Persona Persona One's homophobic. It just is. Persona Five is boring. <laughs> the cardinal sin of Persona Five is this boring. <laughs> Persona 5 is one's giving me a panic attack because it reminded me of my own trauma. That's, that's, that, that's me, like, being real. That's me being real and leveling with you guys. It reminds me of my own trauma at, like, at times when I was, like, mentally more fragile. Um, it reminded me of my own trauma and it kind of put me off the game for a little bit. It made me feel really uncomfortable. I'll be right back. A little bit. Okie doke. Oh. Yeah, no, P5, fucking absolute horrendous fucking game. I'm gonna have to try to skim for this footage for like a time when I'm like being nice about the game, but I don't think I can. The problem with Persona 5 in a lot of ways is that it, it really, really tries it, its hardest to do like certain things and I just don't fucking like it. Like, Persona 1's biggest sin is it's boring and trash and awful. It's got a good soundtrack though. Yeah, in PSP. It only took a remake for them to finally get a good one. Uh, I mean, as a matter of fact, like I have every soundtrack except Persona 2's. Like I have every- Two? Yeah, just because- Persona 2 has eight soundtrack CDs. You need to understand. Well, that. yeah, it's a lot of music. It is a lot of music. Like I'm not, I'm not spending like over a hundred on eight, eight soundtrack CDs for a game that I've not played. Like at least Persona, at least Persona One has like very iconic music, and it's like it's like one CD case, and that's it. I wish, I wish fans of P2 wouldn't just spam Hitler everywhere. Like I wish people just got to experience that truly. It's not even Hitler. It's the funniest thing. It's not, but I think the it kind of just happens out of nowhere, and here's the that shock value just gets thrown out. Yeah, here's the funniest thing about Persona Five: you can't finish a dungeon in a day like you can in Persona Four and also Persona Three. Persona Five is boring. It panders to everyone. That's why it feels boring. It doesn't pander to anyone though. It just feels like it's just like lowest common denominator bullshit. It's so boring. It is really shit. Like, the thing is, is that it's, like, Persona 5 gives me nothing but negative emotions, and it makes me wish that I was playing I'm trying to think Persona of what games. characters I really like from this game. I like Maruki a lot. I don't fucking, um, I don't fuck with Maruki. I get down with Yusuke. Yusuke's a homie. I don't fuck with Yusuke. <laughs> tell me a character um, in Persona 5, I'll tell, you if I fuck, I'll tell you if I fuck with them or not. I'm trying to think of any other characters I, like, really fuck with in this game. You if you me? <laughs> If Yumi's design is cool. I don't care about Ufumi. It's all the same. Well, my fucking answer cheat thing decided to start working. Nice. I like Shido, because he's just the police are his bitches. <laughs> and they show that cutscene like five times in this game. Why is it when I look up Persona 5 characters, the image for Haru is just a picture of a cat cheat? <laughs> Do I finish the dungeon or do I like do conf? I'm gonna do confidence. I need to. I need a break from fucking dungeon crawling in this game. Yeah. What up, Ryuji? The police are my bitches. I need to get through the commentary to arc like ASAP. I like on when they're not like throwing her ass in your face. I don't get why they do that. 
it's like the whole point is that that's not her, but then she then proceeds to do that. It's like the royal opening is like really bad. I don't like it. Wake up, get out. Wake up, get up, get out there. Will fucking absolutely banana slam of the shit out of fucking Roy like the like the original is. I like so Takemi. Takemi's funny. Takemi. Yeah, she's funny. Um. Well, Machina's so, alright. It's the start of Persona 5, this meaning I can't fucking do anything. Um, How do I- I like Tony Stark and Striker, he's, he's funny. I just realized I like pressed- oh, whatever. Um, Calming Aroma, yeah. The best character in all of Persona 5 is in a spinoff. Was Zenkichi. Zenkichi. Zenkichi has the last name of the best persona for social link. He's so cool. The only reason I ever like actually like him is because of his last name. Well, he's also just Dojima, but like <laughs> part of the party, basically. I think. Can I be honest? Hmm. Dojima's kind of overrated. He's a bad dad. He's a bad dad. Fuck you. He's a Fuck bad you. dad. That's what makes him great. That's what makes him great. He's such a shitty dad. It's like, oh yeah, let me fucking smoke cigarettes while I watch, ho like, actual, Nanako, like... Nanako, come here. Give me your arm. I'm gonna put I'm out gonna a cigarette. I'm gonna put my cigarette out your arm. <laughs> yeah, me when, I, me when I'm a fully grown adult, like, hard-boiled detective, and I fucking, like, straight up just smoke cigarettes in front of my eight-year-old daughter... And I fucking watch, like, the news where they talk about fucking people being murdered all the fucking time. I accidentally just agreed to sending the calling card. No, don't do it. Please don't do it. Alright, thank god. No, do not send the fucking calling card yet. Jesus. Dojima is so cool. Dojima is a fucking dick, but, like, I like him. I like him, but he's a penis. He also has great vegetables. He does say great it's vegetables. Like points. This would be a really nice time for me to like. Oh my god, wait a second. Oh no, wait, I fucked up my HDMI cables and stuff. <laughs> Nanako, you're my ashtray now. Nanako, Nanako, where are my fucking sausages? Have you seen Hi I'm Daisy Persona 4's comic? Yes, I have. Fucking, that is like, I'm so sad I never finished that because it's probably one of my favorite Persona 4 like fan creations and I'm so glad that Marie's social link references it. I really wish they added a light in golden where Dojima goes, Nanako, Nanako, where are my sausages? <laughs> that would have been fucking peak. And then Sojiro's like, Erm, who the fuck said that you could go outside? Fucking woman. Mishima feels like the most Persona 4 character to me. Why, it's a nothing character. What are you trying to say about Persona no. 4 characters? There are a lot of social links in P4 that are kind of shit. Yeah, like the nurse. The nurse, Shu Nakajima. No, actually, no, she's is, she is social link is alright. He's a little twat, but like... Uh, what else is there? <sighs> There's Naoki Kanishi. No, stop asking me to send the calling card. I'm gonna go to the library. I need to study. What up, Makoto? Why do people like Makoto so much? I don't understand. Makoto P5. I mean. Um. I don't know, honestly. She's kind of really boring <laughs> as a character. It's like, oh yeah, I love my waifus to be like cardboard. I suppose if you get a cardboard cut out of Makoto, it's not much different to her character in the game. <laughs> <laughs> my biggest thing with Makoto is I don't know what the fuck's going on with her hair. Like, is it a headband or yeah. is that like part of her hair? Yeah, her hair's not long enough to be able to do that. It's a headband. Makoto's like a really bland design character with a really bland personality, with a really bland persona, with a really bland arc, <laughs> with a really bland social link. Why do people like this character? I need- I wanna work- can I work at the flower shop? Because if I can, I would very much so like to do that. Okay, 
Can I work here? No. Seventeen thirty-eight. <laughs> Do you know what I'm referencing? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so dumb. Oh, come here. Oh, I need charm. Alright, I'm gonna go work at triple seven then. Makoto is boring as hell, but I like her persona. I don't even like her persona. Her persona's much. fucking. Her persona is a bike. You know what other game has a character who's on a bike? <laughs> what? Persona? I'm not gonna be one of those fans. I fucking. For, like, old oh, Tatsuya, persona fans are right. really annoying. <laughs> I just realized, right? Yeah, it's Tatsuya that you're talking about. Tatsuya can make bike noises or something. He can! He gaslit everyone into thinking he's really good at bike impressions. So, like, he could just do one. You can count on me. I think you would really like two's characters if they were just in a better game. <laughs> like, a lot of them are, like, a blend of uh, a lot of the, like, best characters. I wish I was fucking as, like productive in high school as my as like any persona character because like all i did was like get home from school and jerk off and play video games <laughs> like <Jesus> like <laughs> can we get a realistic persona <laughs> can we get a realistic <laughs> persona protagonist that doesn't hang out with their social links and just gets home and jerks off and plays video games all day Ugh. <laughs> like I remember I was in college when I played Persona when I played Persona 5 and Persona 4 and I thought to myself like wow I'm a fucking piece of shit uh. <laughs> fuck I am really proud of myself for that one but at the same time like <laughs> I feel like everyone's a little bit disgusted in me now <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, fucking Persona 5, yeah, the bad game, lol. 1738. <laughs> Wait, you sent me that fucking video, didn't you? Yes. A 17 year old and a 38 year old shouldn't be dating. Wait, Superman. 1738. Eh. Such a shit joke. What? That was the first thing you ever DM'd me. <laughs> You know what, like, I might, like, be, like, a fucking goblin or whatever, and I might be gross, but at least I'm, like, fucking realistic. Maybe, uh, maybe I would, but the gameplay is as bad, I don't know. Oh, right, yeah, they're talking about Persona 2. Yeah, Persona 2's gameplay is not good. I don't know, I've been told that it's, it's alright, like, it's characters and story makeup for, like, fucking whatever. Absolutely. I think, pers like, Persona 2 legitimately, like, laid the foundation for, like, every modern Persona game, you uh, not game, character you like. Like what? Like, if you mix, like, elements of, like, Ikichi with Jun, you get Kanji. <laughs> yeah, but I don't really like Kanji all that much. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you get Chie mixed in with, like, An from Persona 5, and you get, uh, what's her name? Lisa. Isn't Lisa the girl with blonde hair? Yeah. I just watched P2. It wasn't fun to play. I was, did I really just get gross. told to... Did I really just get told to watch a fucking Let's Play? These are gross. <laughs> did I really just get told to fucking watch a Let's Play? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna study. I'm just gonna keep studying and, like, fucking, like... Like, what really is there else for me to do? Other than fucking study and work? Alright, it's a Sunday. I would just wait for a remake to happen at this point. Or, like, a show at. I think 2 would be 
an awesome show adaptation. You know what I fucking hate? I hate people that are like, je- like not not to like say that you do like any, anything about you, but like when it comes to like persona fucking people or whatever, like when when three people were talking mad shit about like, oh yeah, three remakes gonna happen real soon, and it like wasn't even confirmed. Uh, well, I, I think it's like basically confirmed at this point though. Like with how like companies are like there's no way they would pass up the opportunity to just re-release old games totes for like more money especially to a game you can literally split into like two seventy dollar games <sighs> why are you even saying this it's what they're gonna do i'm just telling you this is but just would you buy it happen. but would you buy it yes <laughs> are you fucking stupid P2's bro peak p2's peak <laughs> I'm willing to throw up 140. Yeah, but there's gonna be DLC as well. It's gonna be like 160, 180. You're you're right though too, because two does have like an additional campaign. Oh my fucking for... god! God, they're gonna fuck that shit's gonna be like 160 dollars, and then fucking Innocent Sin also has. Oh, it's so over. It's so over. This is gonna be like a 200 dollar video game. I mean, Reload was a hundred dollar video game for me. Oh, bro, this shit's gonna be like 300 for you then. Nah. No, I'm not playing it, so. <laughs> I'm not playing it. Even if it gets a remake, I'm not fucking playing that shit. Damn. I don't give a fuck. I don't care anymore. I, I've real. I've come to. I've had an epiphany. I only like Persona 4. And so, any other yeah. game in the franchise, I'm not going to enjoy. And so, what even yeah. is the point? Do you like Catherine? Uh, I played some of it, but I don't really like playing as a protagonist as a piece of shit. I don't like to play as a protagonist who is arguably very bad person. Yeah. Not even arguably, he's just kind of... I mean, he didn't do anything wrong, but it's like... Like, he's a very real character. Like, I, I'm, I won't deny that the fucking... Vincent is a very real person. Like, who has very real, like, concerns and worries. Why was he hanging out with a 17-year-old at the age of 38, though? Shut up! <laughs> oh, God. I've not eaten in two days. I really need to eat something. <laughs> you should eat. After the stream, I'll eat something. There's only so you much won. that Monster can, like, suppress my appetite. Here's the problem with Persona 1, they'd have to rewrite that entire game with, like, how shit it is. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like, halfway through the game, like, the cash just disappears. It's like, they just stop caring about writing them. Really? Well, yeah, they have this, like, weird mechanic where you could choose what characters you're gonna have in your party, and that's, like, who would be involved in the plot for the rest of it. Mm. It's funny that like i think i might actually be doing like the most optimal like way to play this game right now like actually when it comes to like the way that i'm going about like working and like getting up my social stats by working god joker and fancy joker in an apron so would right let me see let me see it's very brief. You need to. You need to really keep your eyes out. It looks like his mom. <laughs> it looks like Joker's mom. We know what Joker's mom looks like. I just assume that's how Joker's mom would look like. Joker's mom's a fucking piece of shit. Same as his dad. Yeah. It's like yeah, you got like you got you like fucking did this thing, and we're never gonna talk to you. Like, <sighs> why do you keep asking me to send the calling card? <laughs> These bitches have no patience whatsoever. Cause there ain't nothing to do. No, there is work. I've got to work. How am I gonna be able to afford a house if I don't work every day? You have a housing situation. How do I afford a house after I graduate? You live, you live in a Starbucks attic. <laughs> Not even a Starbucks. Uh, f fucking, what is it? 
large brightly colored flower so large red flower large pink flower large yellow flower Customer was extremely happy. We fucking did it, guys. <laughs> I see it. I get it. I agree. I just want to see a 3D bathroom on. Oh, I just want to see a, a, my, my favorite scammer. I hate how Sojuro is social link. They don't tell you that, like, you, they don't actually explicitly tell you that you need to have Futaba or, like, they, they should yeah, really... you can't do it until later. <laughs> yeah, they should really give you a warning that maybe, like, maybe, maybe something needs to happen before we should talk I, to... I think I remember initially playing through this game and trying to, like, up a social link and being so confused why it wouldn't go up. Mm. Or maybe just don't lock his social link until later. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm getting really bad pains in my index finger from holding it. Because I'm clawing right now. And I have my, my... I have my, like, pointer finger always holding down the Y button. Do um, you have these memorized? What? The fucking answers to school? No, I have, I have cheat sheet on. Oh. But I also read really fast. Alright, what do I need? Small flowers with a soft correlation. They bought it without complaints. What other mods do I have on? Uh, Dorama makes the brap sound effect. Cheat sheet. Social link tracker. Uh, FMC mod. Um, what else is there? That's it. That's about it. Uh, bathhouse, bathhouse, bathhouse. Uh, SP items? Yes. It's a Wednesday. It's uh, do I study or do I? Nah, I'll go to the bathhouse. Fuck it. What do I? What do I do to raise guts? Early game. I forgot. Uh, I think you could. Uh, you hang with Takemi does it. Um, there's also no. They, they, watching she has movies. What watching horror movies? I think also does it. Oh yeah. I'll think about it. I like Joker's little fucking a book. Sorry. There's a book you could buy that I think raises guts. Yeah, I don't have access to it yet though, I don't think. I'll I'll give a look real quick. You don't remind me 425. Alright, 2K again. Alright, what is it? Um five five. You eat burger. I don't have access to burger yet. Um, right. Let me check what the movies are. All right. I guess I'm not oh, alone. Oh, um, oh, oh, uh, burger, burger. If yeah. you do the burger challenge, it also goes into guts. I don't have access to burger yet. Fuck. Um, this game sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna give my 
that to check. Uh, okay, all right, social stats. Social stats. Um, I like how the creator of MC Joker mod barely update the barely uploads and when he does it's just updates on the USK romance. Wait, can I not romance the fucking girls in this? With the mod on? Really? Uh but no, I'm gonna go do the medicine medicinal bath, because that's on Thursdays. And then I'll just keep studying. Yo, you could romance use K with this mod? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it like I think it might allow you. Let to... me be let me be gay with that dude in general in this game. He's, he is fucking like gay. Do you know who bullshit. Chris H Hunterfield or whatever his name is? The waifu hunter guy? No. Okay, so there's this guy and he makes videos about um he makes videos about like waifus and video games. He made ones about persona waifus and like husbandos. And um Alright, so why is why do I not have school? Oh uh, yeah, whatever, I guess I'll do the fucking calling card. <clears throat> Anyways, what was, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, no, this guy, he fucking makes, like, stuff about, like, husbandos and waifus. I need my 15, like, hour analysis of on. <sighs> Got a hiding in private. You can, <laughs> but they're also working on working on specific male s s social... Okay, that's whatever, because all of the guys in this game are fucking disgusting anyway. No, you just came at home. Well, never mind. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> like <laughs> a bit into that, it's like wait. Ryuji is basically just Kenji without banging he his is. teacher. Why not do the calling Jinpei card as soon as possible? Because I don't feel like doing the dun I don't feel like doing the boss fight. <laughs> Junpei is the best bro character, just period. No, I like Yosuke. Uh I also have like a mod that makes the calling uh, calling cards in English. I'm I'm gonna definitely get a couple of people that are mad at me for like speeding through this arc, but like I need free time. I need like footage of like FMC just like walking around, and like I have dungeon footage and shit. Ikichi hates fat people until he doesn't. Who? Uh, Ikichi. He's like the goth dude from 2. He's like the bro character of that game. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'm, like, although my BMI says that I'm fat, like, there's people that are the same weight as me that look, like, a lot fatter. Like, I look, like, pretty medium built, all things considered. Like, do you think I look fat? Like, you've seen what I look like. I think you just, no, you don't. You, you don't think I look fat? I was talking to someone, sorry. Yeah. No, I don't. 1738. <laughs> That's that My, like, brain gets stuck on, like, dumb autistic shit like that. This scene in the anime looks awful. I haven't even watched the anime for this because it just looks atrocious. I've seen the I'm a dad thing. What? I've seen the I'm a dad option from the anime. That's uh, it. Alright. I wish that the outfits would change the boss music, but it doesn't, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, whatever. They really just gave everyone like charge and shit super early in this game. Yeah.
I'm such a hater, but like, I think my hate is reasonable. Like, I think this is trying to hit the same beats as Yukiko's boss fight, but like, Yukiko's boss fight had like, personal stakes, in the sense of that like, you're saving someone you care about. Well, like that, like that, like you, you know, and like you care about. They really, they really should just stick with like what they were shadow doing with the selves. concept of four. Yeah, shadow selves was good. Also the taken young... from two. <laughs> the Jungian psychology stuff is like really good. Yeah. And this is like. For I want Nyar like, back. It. Bring Nyar Lefotep back. Why'd you want Nyar the YouTuber in your fucking game. No, <laughs> I don't want him. <laughs> How much is Repost? Ah, Cross Slash doesn't do much more to Tarakaja on. Nothing can fix this game. Like, nothing. This game is just bad. It's just so- it's so sad that this game is so shit. This looks so weird. I, Alex Z Wonderbar, submit a toast <laughs> to you. You don't really have to do much to change, like, fucking comma sheet into Yonder, I dev. You really don't. <laughs> you can make the game fun by switching to P4. I just might, you know, I just fucking might. No, I didn't mean to do that, I misclicked. Why the fuck, why the fuck is this? I hate this menuing, this menuing sucks. Do you agree that the new menu style of like a button per thing, button per action fucking sucks? I like it, I, I personally like don't. it. It fucking leads to more misinputs than it, it does convenience me. Like, why can I not have a fucking option to, like, I'm dead, by the way. It w I would like them to have an option, at least for the people who preferred the other styling. I forgot to block. Oh, when was the last time I saved? Oh, never mind. I can restart the battle. It's fine. <clears throat> I think it's okay. I don't fucking like it. I don't fuck with it. I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't like it. It's just like, it's just my personal preference. That's like your opinion, man. And like... Dude, it's like my opinion, man. The misinputs are so annoying. Yeah, I got someone that fucking agrees with me. <laughs> It was a misinput. It was a misinput. I would fucking do it all the time. When it's menus, it's so easy to like not fuck you it up. You can never miss input. Yeah. You just spam L2. Oh, uh, fuck <laughs> off about the L2 bullshit. <laughs> That's the thing that this game introduced. It's R. It's R1 anyway. Is it R1? Yeah. I thought it was L2. No, L2 is analysis. Uh. The actual the initial menu looks cool, but the actual menu I don't fuck with. Um. Um. What the sigma?
Made it. I really like the boss designs in this game. Like, there's a lot of really cool design elements that they just went crazy with. Like what? I think Phantom Thief outfits are a really cool idea. Like, I think having, like, a visual difference between being in a different world and, like, the day-to-day -day life is a really cool idea. I don't know. I'm whatever about it. I don't like how if you put DLC costumes on, they don't appear in cutscenes. That's true. It's like, why offer, why, why offer costumes if you're not gonna fucking honor it? Oh, she's weak to everything, I get it. I think I'm dead. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Clutch Sona 5, am I right or am I right, gamers? That is clutch. Does Persona have the shit where if the main character dies, you yep. lose? I don't rem- I always, like, forget. It does, it's annoying. <clears throat> Woman gun. Awesome. Oh, and he just got two hits for no fucking reason, and now I'm dead. You truly have lost Persona 5. <laughs> I don't give a shit, it's whatever. Fucking game sucks anyway. I'm literally playing this just for footage. I do not actually yeah. give any fucks about this fucking game. Like, I don't have any heal all spells yet, so it's like, fucking, if, like, I can't fucking heal someone and if they need healing, and, like, I need to do damage to Kamashita, and, like, I also need to kill this fucking person, and do this, and do this, and do this, it's like, congrats on having, like, an extremely fucking, like, it's an extremely annoying fucking boss fight. Like, I only have two revives as well. Oh my god, I meant to use it on the other fucking thing. Augie. Lunge. Wasn't this game, like, a bunch of political commentary on, like, very specific events that happened in Japan, too? Yeah. My cum chalice. <laughs> I 
actually not allowed to heal or you don't get enough damage on. Yeah. I'll be back. Alright, welcome. Fucking go, go. Fucking welcome to fucking the Jesse only stream. Where fucking sleep goes AFK every fucking five minutes. Oh, I didn't mean it. Alright, On's fucking dead. Because I accidentally pressed the fucking X button instead of. This is why menus are fucking better. Yeah, and On's just dead now. Ironic is that Yandere Dev said this game like influenced his game. Like, Too heavily. fucking funny. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Got her Come, Chalice. This is just, it's like scripted, blabbering, scripted, blathering. Like, fucking hell. It's Next game, so... they're just gonna throw you into like Mario Party mini games in the middle of, <laughs> of fights. It's so fucking annoying. And what's gonna happen is one of the people that I revived. Okay, never mind. Alright, I'm gonna recover health. Then I'm gonna recover. I usually health. kill him before. Uh... Morgana, or whoever gets up there. Tarakaja. Agi. And then use Dia. Yeah, and I didn't do- I guess I didn't do enough damage because I had to heal. Nah, whatever, I'll just kill him the normal way. I low-key think we should go back to everyone having, like, at least secondary personas. Because I know that's something that Tactica has. I think uh, making it so your characters can be more fluid with what they can do mm. is cool. And opens up a lot of opportunity for the developers to get a lot more difficult and interesting. Yeah, well, Atlas aren't really interested in making hard games anymore. Unless it's SMT. <laughs> SMT isn't hard. I mean, the beginning of 5 is pretty rough, but after that, it gets, like, baby easy. That's true. I hate how this game's combat was built around tactical damage, but 90% of bosses are immune to all ailments, so it's just pointless. That's why press turns better, because you don't get bullshit like this. Joker's gonna die if Joker gets hit. No, stop asking. I'm not gonna do it. I'm doing it my way. There we go. Easy.
Oh, there we go. I got the multi, multi fucking, multi fucking heal move. Awesome. Hey, we did it. We just showed our the castle. How long are you free for? Uh, for a while. I don't work today. I've probably got like another hour or so in me before I need to like, like need to like eat. Um, what am I gonna do today? Study, fuck up. I think pressed her. I think this game would be. I don't know. I think well, a lot of the ideas in Persona are just underdeveloped compared to what pressed her has to offer. I think the the one more system is very fragile when you add baton passes. And fusion spells. Yeah. Theurgies. And theurgies. <laughs> like. It, as soon as you get like past Persona 4, the the like combat, like the original Persona 5 is actually quite like challenging and has like actual difficulty and stuff like that. Like Shiki Oji in the original Persona 5 is actually quite challenging and you know Madarami's Palace, but uh, not so much anymore. Military rash set muscle workout set absolutely. Can I go out? Oh yeah, I can. Wait, what day is it? Every oh, it's Sunday. I thought it was Thursday. But the medicinal laugh was on. Whoops. I remember being stuck in vanilla Madarame for hours. Yeah. And did you get stuck in on it once in uh, Persona 5 Royal? The answer is probably not. God, I fucking hate this game, like, actually. I don't know if it's just, like, my depression or whatever, but, like, I wasn't really enjoying P4G that much, but I know that, like, it's... I still can like admit like oh yeah this game this game's good I like this I like this I like this there's not really much in Persona 5 where I ever think that and then Madarame's confession not Madarame Conchita's fucking confession I made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment <laughs> if Lo if Emperor was a thing in real life Logan Paul and Yandere's child will be Conchita. Hello, my name's Mishima, and I spread rumors about you. Forgive me, and become my friend. It's like, no thanks, Mishima. I don't really trust people that are, that are just so willing to do that. It's like, oh yeah, but he had an abusive teacher going in his back. It's like, you can just say that you did something. Joseph Anderson put it best when he said that Mishima's a Sonic fan. He's just annoying as fuck. There's so many characters in this game that I find so irritating. Yusuke, irritating. Makoto, irritating. Yusuke Ryuji, irritating. On, irritating. The only people that I don't actually find irritating are the ones that genuinely you barely get to talk to, and that's Haru and Futaba. No, Futaba is like the most obnoxious character in this game. To me. She's, like she's like miles. autistic levels of funny. I don't. I think the fact of that oh, she's a reddit I bet you know in that little spaceship I bet she has like like eight different monitors and like only one of them is like a four by three of like actually what's going on in the battle and all the rest of them are like reddit <laughs> it's sad how the second attempt at doing like a hacker character in the series resulted in one of the most obnoxious pieces of shit 
Oh, if no, it's raining in the bathhouse, it raises your guts? I didn't know that. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that information. Alright, there we go. We're post Kamashita arc. Oh, There's yeah. one thing this game has over four, is you could actually do shit during the rain. Yeah, but the whole the whole thing of like not being able to do stuff during the rain is like blah 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 yap yap yap. It's boring. <laughs> it's not boring. You got the beef bowl. You can go to Suzudaigaku and get a super croquette. You can do the band or drama social link during that time, meaning that a, a social link that otherwise you wouldn't do because it is, to put bluntly, a very boring social link idea of going to a club. Um. They give you an incentive to do it because it's the only one that you can do in the rain. You can also do the Fox social link. You can also go to Okina and go to Chagall Cafe. Or spend your time at the movie theater as leveling up one of your party members' personas. To say that there's nothing to do in the rain is disingenuous. Get fucking owned, idiot. <laughs> I just zoned out everything you said. Okay, so in Persona 4 when it's raining... I heard woman speaking and it just like... <laughs> in Persona 4... <laughs> In Persona 4, there is, when it rains, you can do the beef bowl, you mm -hmm. can do the fox social link, you can mm -hmm. do the drama or uh, band practice social link, a social link that uh, otherwise you wouldn't do because it's kind of boring in its premise because it's a club social link. And those ones... I like the band social link. She's so funny. Yeah. She's like Fuka. Yeah, she's like Fuka. But um, anyways, so like you can like do that social link and and stuff you can also go to okina and um you can do you can go to sugar cafe and get skill cards you can watch movies with your party members and level them up and get social stats with them for social links that otherwise you know you wouldn't be able to spend time with on that day or you would have prioritized someone else on that day you can also go to the beach you can fish uh you can do the fox social link and, um, you can also, there's another thing that I'm forgetting. Social link. Uh, oh, you can also explore the TV on rainy days and, like, get, like, bonuses because shadows are, like, more agitated when it rains. That's what I usually do. Do the beef bowl. It raises all your stats. Fucking beef bowl. I always use rainy day when it, once I've leveled up my social stat. Like recently on stream, I've just been like, I hate this fucking bit of the game. Filler as fuck. Um, like I go to Chicago Cafe and I got fucking like mind charge and shit like that on my fucking persona. So like I don't feel like I'm wasting a day by going to Chicago. I need to get some fish. Where are the fish? Fish. Get some rice. This is like torture. This is unjust punishment. Tired of playing five and like the characters. I didn't like it. Couldn't help the Shima social link. Mishima social link, the only reason that you'd even do it is uh, simply put because he is the only way that you can get party members to get XP. So, uh, literally XP share, the social link. The police are my bitches. <laughs> Just Andrew Tate. I think another thing that's making like being at my computer unbearable is that my headphones broke. So I'm using like some really cheapo headphones that I had like as a reserve ones, but I don't have any money to buy new ones. And so I got to wait for my birthday to get new ones.
the ballers. Reddit, we're going with that. Reddit nation. The pow the influence of Reddit. It's not even that useful. We could grind the Reaper too. Yeah. Whatever. I like Persona Four. I don't like Persona Five. I don't really like Persona Three. I like FMC's route and Persona Three Portable because I like being able to self-insert as a protagonist, as a self-insert protagonist. I think that was a point that a lot of people missed in my FMC video is that it is just nice to self-insert as a self-insert protagonist. And so you're a little bitch if you are like, shut up. All right, uh, can I study? Study, let me 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 study, thank you. See, most people just go to bed. Me, I study. Wow. What the fuck was that noise? What? There was like alien sounded noises coming from outside. The aliens are coming for you. Yeah. It's the feds, they're... It's the feds, you didn't <laughs> answer their fucking text messages, so they're coming to get you. <laughs> they're like, you did not donate $10 to our shitty local police fund. The police are my bitches. Are the police your bitches? But that's what yeah. fucking Yandere Dev said to himself. Hey, where's that fruity Andrew Tate dancing? It's not actually Andrew Tate, but yeah. I know. It's type Bumblebee Andrew Tate. <laughs> so stupid. What? I'm watching it. There's one where he's like in like a casino and it really looks like him. Mm. There's that guy that looks like Keemstar fucking riding the dildo on the train oh, track. Yeah. So you see <laughs> they kept stamping his fucking his shit. This one's my favorite one. Let's have a look. <laughs> it really looks like him. <laughs> yeah, it does. I leveled up my kindness so I can talk to fucking on the first day that she's available. This game would be really cool if you could actually have the moral choice of giving him a mental shutdown or not. And it like drastically changes the plot. Yeah. Like, wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah, I agree. I also just don't fuck with, uh... I don't know, I just don't fuck with Persona 5. I don't think there's anything you can do to make this game more interesting or better. Just, like, literally, oh, literally less is more. For Persona 5, less is more. Laundromat. Fuck off, I'm not wasting my time with that shit. I'd rather eat glass than go to fucking the laundromat. Machine, I should have had a mental shutdown. Fucking so true. What? Femme fatale, yeah, fatal woman. Thank you. They're actually working on new games too. Hmm. I'm just reading the the dev interview about. The answer, and they're like, we needed to work on actual new games instead of remakes, also. So, uh. uh. Finish my monster. <sighs> Alright, now it's gonna get me to go fucking mementos. <laughs> I think Persona 5 wants to be a fucking movie, honestly, with the way that it's like just so much fucking unnecessary dialogue. Uh, my burping funnier is annoying. 
It's fine, I guess. It just exists. <laughs> I do it. I do it. Cause it's, it's happening. I do it because it's funny. Hey, you want to hear a fucking banger? Uh oh, it's the worst part of Persona 5 because they tried to do Tartarus again, but they just failed because of Insta Kill Lamau. They should just stop doing these fucking RNG dungeons. No, they should only do RNG dungeons and stop doing like set pieces that are the fucking same every single time. And just fucking lay off on the fucking cutscenes. What I hate about the fucking Persona 5 social links is that like the protagonist being like the person that can alter people's like cognitions is like so relevant to every fucking social link. And so like no one other than fucking Joker could do these social links. Nobody other than Joker can help these people. And it is the most incredibly frustrating thing ever because it's like it means that like every social link follows this thing of like uh, hello, this is me. Here's some of my personality. Here's this problem that I have. Oh, I wish there was someone that could help me with my problem. And then you, uh, and you alter the person's cognition that's fucking them over. And then that's the end of the social link. And then they know that you're Joker Persona 5. And then that's every fucking... That's how they fucking do it. And it's the most fucking frustrating thing ever. And I hate it. It's so annoying. And I hate it. Because it means that every single social link, you have to, like, fucking... You have to go to fucking Mementos, and you do your Mementos requests, and you fucking do this bullshit, and you... As fucking cognition is fucking stupid. I fucking hate it. It's fucking minging. It is. It is minging. It's, like, it's fucking bullshit. And then Joker grabs the thing, he's like, ugh, this is mine. Beware of the clingy ex-boyfriend fucking game like what's what's the point in giving me dlc outfits if you're not going to change them in cutscenes and 90 percent of this game is fucking cutscene i'm happy sega's at least like making uh them not do these fucking re-releases anymore oh they're making them not do them anymore yeah good on sega you're weak to fire <laughs> like, do you need to show the character doing a little fucking gay move every time you hit a one more? Can't wait to make my Persona 5 is a terrible game and I fucking hate it more than anything. I my... think Coolsville sucks. <laughs> right, I'm gonna end the stream soon because I'm like starting to get a headache and I'm also starting to get really, really pissed off about this fucking game. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Genuinely, the fucking level of improvement you get by turning off the voices in this game is insane. It's as if all they do is fucking yap. Did they add suspend saves in this? No, they didn't. That's only P3P and P4G. I just fucking despise this game in its entirety. This game could do nothing right. How did a dude analyze, like, characters for, like, 15 hours? Social links. In this game. <laughs> We're gonna be looking at Makoto Nijima. For 20 hours. The nothing character. What's funny is that she is a nothing character. 
20 hours! <laughs> Then they're like, Morgana's a cat, and it's like, what, what gender is Morgana? And then Yusuke is like, oh, the Sayori. So, oh, so All right. I will be ending stream there. It was a nice long four hour stream, which is pretty pretty decent chunk of time, I would say. I'd argue. Anyways, thank you so much guys for stopping by. Appreciate you all. I've been a Chris Jesse with Sleep Life. Well, my I'm Sleep Life.